In this video, we inherited our great grandpa's cattle farm. We start this series in the year 1960 and run it all the way to the 1980s. So 30 years to see what we can make out of this farm. And alongside me, I'm my brother, Buck Murphy. What's up, Buck? Oh, not too much. Just getting ready to go into some debt. Start the American dream one nightmare at a time. And together, we're gonna take this farm from nothing and try and turn it into something. The plan is is to start with $26,000. Now keep in mind, we have to buy cattle yet. So we're gonna buy 10 cows here that's gonna cost us probably 10, 12 grand. And there's probably some more equipment that we gotta buy yet. To give you guys a farm tour of here, here's the main house right here. It was built in 1913. And then we have the feedlot. We don't have any cattle yet for the feedlot. We're gonna try and purchase 10 cows here. We got a six row planter, John Deere 7,000, manure spreader, Baylor, two four, to, four bottom plows, three John Deere 4020s, one with weights, narrow front, I call it a tricycle, and then we got a wide front 4020, this will be our main tillage tractor, and then we have another narrow front over here. And then we have two Kilbros gravity wagons, they all each hold about 300, 350 bushel, they're in pretty top shape. Commodity shed for cattle, our harvesters for all of our TMR and mixing, blower, That'll blow it up in the silos. And then we have a bin just for storage. Most likely this is gonna be corn. Everything else like beans and stuff, for now, until we can afford another bin, it's gonna have to go to market. And this was put up in the 1890s. Still works good. Perfect barn for us uh, to store square bales in. And then we have a John Deere 6600. This was purchased this year. Brand new combine. We're gonna put it to use this fall along with a 643 corn head. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you if you do, give it a like, and uh, we're going to get going here. Hey, you get the oil change on the 4020. D are you asking, did I, or uh, did I you? do need to? Oh, uh, no. Hey, aren't you, Grant? Chet, I thought you were supposed to be driving the semi. I just came from the Grant. I just came from the freaking uh, fruit market, man. What the heck are you thinking? I got to go get me some more cigars. Here I go, White. Oh. Here, 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 I got a light, bud. I got a good light. There Let's you go. go. You clowns get ready to go do some field work. I'm gonna go pick up your Angus. Okay, we'll stay here. We'll help you back in here. That's Chet Middleton. He's a 70 year old guy. He's known in the past to just be a good old boy around these parts. Help you if you're stuck, no matter the time. You see that grampy walk he was doing? That's yeah. a straight up grandpa walk. I think he's faking it. I think he's faking it. Yeah, he's not that old. Do you want to get both 4020s hooked up to the wagons and then I'll get the combine out? Yep, sure. Uh, don't we want to just double up the wagons on one tractor or? Well, try I'm it. Give it a try. Yeah, go and try. try. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Yep. There you Are go. Are good? Yep. So as of right now, we own these farms. Um, 33 we plan to into wheat and 34 we plan to beans back in the springtime. And then we do own 67. Our grandma passed away here and we inherited field 67. That's why it's far away from the main farm. But field 67 is corn. Grant, you got the ether? Yep. Yep. Hold on. That right there is a brand new 6600 gasser. They made, they came out with a diesel, but we just couldn't afford it. Kind of He knows how to spend some money. Ooh, Lita, Lita. Chet Gosh Dane Elderson. Wow. Watch the corn, Chet. It was fine. It ain't worth anything anyway. Right. We'll get the last one off. Yep, uh, yep, well, yep, yep. Good. Yep. So right now, we bought 10 Angus. They're bred. It costs us about 10 grand. So we're at $14,000 right now. And we need feed. Are we gonna go make some or what? Yes, we gotta harvest. Are you seeing anything wrong with these cows? No three-legged nope. ones? When Buck gets here, we need to have him bring another 4020. That way you can run one load back and heck, we gotta put a tractor on the auger or we're gonna sell the grain unless you wanna sell it. Have we thought uh, about this? We might need some cash here. Okay, we'll take it straight to the elevator then. You know, at the local Casey's store yesterday, Donaldson's were saying we were a spoiled bunch of brothers having three brand new 4020s. I was like, well, I'm sorry we make money farming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What do you think she yields, boys? 90 bushel an acre? Didn't we get that really good fertilizer down at the co-op this year? Yeah, we got hog manure put on, stuff. and then we got a good amount of rain. We'll see what it produces. If we could get 100 bushel, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be happy. Well, we're gonna crank her over, start her up, engage the separator. Rolling that gas engine, she's screaming. Oh yeah. If I can get these end rows knocked out, we're about 15% full here. Oh shoot, I missed some. If I can get these end rows knocked out here, then these guys can swing around. They should be able to. 
Hey, so Donaldson's tried to unload it on the go. I think we're gonna try it. So I'll go down a road. Down that little, and then so you want me to just put down this road right now? Yeah, and then I can match your speed. Well, you'll have to kind of match. We'll have to play with each other and match each other's speed. Just don't spill any. There we go. She's going. Hey, oh, hurry it up! Hang on, man. I gotta open this door and scream at him. Hey, let's go try and get the silo set up. We'll go put this batch in the silo, even though you're not full. There we go. Well, we got 2200 bucks. That's a good grain market right there. That's pretty courteous these days. I'm guessing we probably want to get started on either uh, the so, silage yeah. or the hay. We got to get started on silage and hay. We got, we got a lot to do. We'll keep rolling and then we'll roll on silage tomorrow. Be there, 8 a.m. sharp. <laughs> oh, did Buck actually buy a new car? Hey, you hear the crazy right. news? Yeah. We landed well, on the moon. And I bought a charger. We're both doing great. Oh my gosh. Has she got the 450 under? 383. 383. Can I take her for a spin? Don't Come wreck on. my car, please. I won't. I'll take it easy. Oh, 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 oh. Whee, whee, Buck. She you didn't break it, did you? Oh, she runs like a bat out of HE double hockey stick. Okay, I got the 4020s uh, fired up. We got to go pick up a baler and a, uh, or not a baler, a mower and a rake I bought. Do you want to get sun or no sun? Well, I'm the one that goes to the beach more, so I'm going to need the sun. Okay. I'll take the rake, you take the mower, because we'll have that tractor on the mower. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And stop. There you go. Pin drop. We got to harvest the corn over at grandma's farm, and we also need to get grass feed for the cows here because they're out of feed and then we need to get silage chopped before that goes bad oh what do you want were you not listening no i was staring off into the abyss hey okay so um i think we got to start cutting grass here oh no sure well it's a good thing that new holland's running good because we picked those up i mean we spent uh i think a total of four grand on it we're down to eleven thousand dollars here this corn has to be yielding probably close to 120 bushel of the acre. I've never seen corn this tall in my entire life. Well, I have probably three quarters of a load picked. We're going to fire up the 4020, and I'm actually going to put this in the harvester because we're going to use some of this corn for feed here, and then maybe some of it will sell the elevator. So I talked to Buck, and we couldn't... Something was wrong with the vac. It was one of the PTO pins on it, so we couldn't get the vac going. We got the grain sitting at our place right now. I need to get raking this. So we're actually selling our chopper box to a neighbor here. Um, this is kind of what it looks like on the digital screen back in the 60s. Uh, anyways, we're selling it for 17000 and it's it has issues. The, the mod has issues, so we can't let it work, so that's why we're selling it. And we're actually going to buy it a couple hay racks. So we're going to get the square baler out, and uh, we're going to bail some of these. How's it coming back there? It's good. I'm, it's a decent stack. A decent stack? Hey, Boy, that I'm, looks like a third grader yeah. did it. Well, the cows are getting hungry, so I'm going to run, and uh, we're going to toss a bale in there and uh, feed them. The cows don't have much feed, but they have some in there, 531 liters. I'm on my way to pick up another tether. Um, it's gonna look very similar to the rake, but it actually turns it into hay And so we need hay and we need grass and then we need TMR for all these cows So we got a lot of a lot of production ahead of us. Well, there it goes Buck. He must be out for a joyride and there we go We're tedding so that's actually getting turned to hay and then now we'll have uh, hay for the cows I am the spell throwing champion. We're gonna use the hay shed for hay So we're gonna stack the grass bales and uh, the commodity shed back here I'm doing the meticulous work. You're just sloppy second in it. There we go. We got the mower detached, and we're going to hook back up to the uh, wagon. We're going to take that to town, actually. They got good corn prices, so we should get a lot of money. We got $3,000 from that load. Not bad. We have to knock out chores today for the cows. There's just a couple bales we got to feed to them, and then I got to go over to Chet's place. Chet Elderson, he has some goats. And he was wondering if we could bring him a couple hay bales. Toss me one. Oh, there we go. Chet's one of those guys that says he's going to pay for your bales, but then later goes like, oh, I thought we were friends. I thought we were cool about it. So right now we're trying to focus on finishing the cornfield. If we get time, I'd like to cut some silage too. The cows are doing good. We got enough feed for them. Those guys, they're they're, they're just fine. How's she yielding? Not the greatest from what I can see. The tank's not filling up as quick as I thought it would, but I'd say probably what, 95? Eight? That's not bad. I'm going to take this to town. I'll be back. Get the wheel. We got 4,500 bucks from that. We're at 20, almost $21,000. Not bad. Hey, do you just want to top me off and then I'll take a load to town? Pull on the pit. Right there. 
We got $3,000 that time. Not bad. And that's a wrap for uh, Grandma's Field over here. Hey, you Around put the combine in park? Really? It's moving a little bit. Ah, eh, she'll be fine. Okay. I cut that field in half, and I just kind of guessed where I thought it might be the best for, like, the way the combine would move at that field. Yeah. The fact that that just landed all six rows in the last part is beyond me. I did <laughs> not plan that to do all six rows at once. You notice any crooked rows through there? When Austin was planting it this spring? So the entire field? <laughs> Sounds like we're gonna try and start beans. We got, it's probably 10 acres of beans back there. If we wanna chop this, you think the silage is ready out here? Uh, probably. Do you know anybody that has? Shanahan's we, I think do. Shanahan's do? Or should we just buy one? I don't wanna really spend our money on one. If we could rent one, that'd be perfect. Shanahan's, I know uh, Jared's got one. You think they'd rent it to us? Probably. What would you quote us for a two-day borrowing process? Six hundred? You got a tear up a box too? Two grand round trip? Holy. Hey, bud, it's not cheap on this stuff. Yeah. These things are, these things are pretty expensive. Oh, hey. Hey, hey Jerry. How you doing, bud? How you doing? Long time no see. You don't think you could pull a 420, or a 420 could pull it? You'd be straining the load out of that engine that's going out of there. Could I borrow your 520? Yeah. I mean, if you're willing to basically buy it, I could sell it to you for about 10 grand. Right now, it's sitting right at about 2,100 hours. We've been using the living badonka donk out of this thing. It's a few years old, so it's yeah. been our main workhorse in the field. If I bought it, I'd have to talk to my brother. I'd have to sell a 4020 to buy this. Might take you up on one of those tractors if you are willing to sell one. I mean, do you have the wide front? I have a wide I front. Prefer, I have I a wide front. I prefer a wide front over the, for the stability uh, reasons. I got to talk to him about selling the wide front because he likes the wide front. If we trade for another wide front that's doable, obviously we're going to have to throw some cash in on our end. What's that? Hey, check out the new ride. We bought it. You bought it? <laughs> With what? Nah, I'm joking. We could buy this 5020 if you want. He wants a wide front 4020. I know you like the wide front 4020, but he wants to trade. Yeah, it performs first. Okay. And if it does well, then I'll take you up on that. Okay. There we go. She's working. If you guys want to see the 5020, let us know. Let me know in the comment section. I think it'd be a good addition to the farm. You like the new farm purchase? It's a 64 F850. Check out but the license plate. Where did you get money for that? Murphy, bro. <laughs> I like um, it. You're not going to like this, but I traded both of our pickups for this truck. In case we want to start hauling our own cattle. It does have gooseneck. And then it yeah. also has a uh, pistol hitch. We should put a trailer hitch on the charger. No. Tax right off. No. Nope. No. This is my car, not yours. So we got to cut silage. Also, Jared, he called me the other day. Asked if I wanted to buy the 5020. He wanted to trade straight up for three grand difference, which is just about perfect. Because that's what I got extra on the trucks that we traded. That sounds about right. I'd say we could probably go with that. And then we also got to decide, do you want to buy some more steers? I was thinking, That's yes, your we, have, call. we have a, a lot of money right now and steers are selling pretty decent. Well, either way, I'm going to get Jared on the phone. Chet should be out in the truck right now. If you want to radio him on my CB. Hey, big crapper to pig pen. You there? How the heck you want, boy? Trying to let me a cigar. <laughs> hey, could you go pick up 10 more steers for us at McAllister's? I gotta make a trip down to Missouri, but I can probably stop down there and get them before I leave. Yeah. Can you deliver this afternoon here? Yeah, probably. Ten steers at McAllister's. Um, I'll give you. I'll send you the money for them. Did I ever send you the money that you gave me for those bales yet? No, no, it's all good, Chet. You don't have to. Right, I'll, get I'll get them to you when I get back. Okay. Okay. Hey, thanks, buddy. We have some chaff yet that we're gonna blow up into the harvester here. We got chaff going in there. Seven thousand three hundred fifty-two. Check again. 8,541. Oh, oh, hey, straighten her out. There you go. Watch the corn. I ain't no corn there. Hey, right Woo. there. Oh, oh, oh. Cost you 11.5. Ah, shoot. You get a gate. What? Yeah, I got the gate. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hey, a fat cigar, boy. Cigar? At 11 a.m.? Hey, what do you mean? Corn. Corn beer 30 and cigar 30. <coughs> hey, <Harry? coughs> Ooh, big cigar. <laughs> Well, you're not supposed to swallow the smoke, you dummy. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep cutting silage. The goal is, if we can get this done by the end of the day, I'd be super happy. But it's going to take a while. Jared, what's the trade? Yep. You yeah. want me to just take that tractor down to him right now, and then I can come back and help you out? Yeah, that'd be good. Now we have a 50-20 and two 40-20s. Narrow fronts. This is our only wide front tractor. 
and we are starting to stall out here. I'm gonna go take and get the hay by. I'm gonna cut the ditches over here. Hey! Don't run in front of the blades. I, 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 I ran behind it. Hey, we need a uh, we need a tractor with PTO to run the forge wagon to unload it. Cool. It'd be nice to have another tractor right now. Oh, you think? Well, you want to get me unloaded here? Yeah, I'll get that wagon. Keep coming. Oh, there we go. A little slow. Yeah, it's gonna take some time though. Okay, pins in. We're connected. Well, we're full again. I'm gonna disconnect the hitch here. How's that 4020 pull the uh, four bottom plow there? It's just rough because it's the narrow front. Gotcha. That wide front we had did better with it. There we go. She's hooked back up. We're gonna keep rolling. Well, we're officially done with silage. Me and Buck are trying to get this all plowed up. We're just getting started here. <laughs> you got a little overkill. We got the 5020 on a four bottom plow. Last night, we got hit with about a half inch of rain on the grass that we just mowed and bailed. So we're gonna have to ted that out, probably dry it out. We're gonna head over to uh, Cresco, the town over. It's about 10 miles over. And there's a new Ford dealership in town. I know we're, we're trading vehicles and equipment like crazy, but there's been some good deals that have came our way. I haven't told Buck about this potential trade. Bobby B, nice to meet you. Grant Murphy. Nice to meet you, just Mr. Murphy. about 10 miles west of here. I think I might have seen that truck come around. I'm trying to trying to flag it down a little bit. See if I can't get you in something new around here. So exactly, what, well, what are you looking for today? Sell me something. Sell me an F100. Every piece of truck and car every man might want or need, you got yourself signed up right here. 1972 F100. This puppy has got a three-speed automatic mounted to a 302 small block V8. This thing's got your small step size, got a few mud flaps, a CB radio pre installed, off of 2700 bucks. This thing's got itself a 3 8 drop pan hitch right here. Got to haul all your nice little implements around. So, you know, they know these farmers around here. We're going to take good care of you. We know what you want. This thing's even 4x4. Four four. It's got everything you're going to want. Gosh, it's got dude. bed rails, strap downs, two boxes, antennas, with set BB whips, and it's even got color match rims. It's got the green interior too. Oh yeah, boy, you know exactly the, what we're Bobby, talking about. Did you install these CBs or were these? Uh, we had those on a few of them. We stuck them in a couple because we knew they would be uh, interesting to some of these agriculture buyers. We knew they'd need to talk to them. Here it's going on the Whoop Whoop channel. How fast do they go? Well, as of right now, currently it goes as fast as you really want it to, but uh, we hopefully don't want you to push past anything of 85. At least that's what the old I'm liking, handbook says. I'm liking this uh, green paint job on there. If you want something a little more fuel efficient, but still looks good, over here we got ourselves, same thing, brand new 1972, F-100. Did your papa ever tell you how to drive a stick? Every piece of equipment is manual on the farm. Come well, on now, Bobby. that's good. Well, you ever been I'm on a farm? I'm just making sure. Yeah, I have been on a farm before. Now, it wasn't for anything legal, but it was <laughs> It was a farm. What do you sell? You sell cars? You sell <laughs> You sell a lot Ooh, of other stuff, too? A lot. Oh, you I mean, if you head out back, we got some extra stuff in there. You ain't going to want to have in your possession with the state trooper. Don't tell anybody. It's my other business. <laughs> I do you think I make my living, boy. Now, here's another thing you might like. I see you like yourself some power, so why not sit yourself in a 1960, 1969 Dodge Charger? I can only afford, afford a pickup truck. You can only afford a pickup truck, boy. Well, guess what? Well, Today I you're going to be getting in as many vehicles as you want, and I don't care. We're going to make it happen. We're going to get to the banks. We're going to get you in these vehicles and out of here today. Oh. How about that? Okay. Okay. We'll find a way. Well, which, which one of these are you going to pick here, boy? I'm trying to sell you a truck, and all of a sudden, trying to sell you a car? Well, I need to okay, know. What the okay. heck am I doing? Bobby, uh, this is our farm pickup that I was going to yeah. trade in. You're looking at about $2,200 worth of trade-in value. I just bought it for twelve grand. It's like you got hosed over, boy. Okay, well, what is uh, what about this truck? That truck, like I said, was twenty-seven eighty-two. What type of mud flaps you put on there? We got the Looney Tunes special. These are the Taz ones. What? You let you your like kids them? design the mud flaps? How dare you <laughs> despise Warner Brothers? <laughs> if you're gonna despise them again, I can sell you this truck for nine thousand. Give you five hundred bucks for that thing. Okay, give me the gosh dang keys. And the truck already, boy. I'm gonna hand to you three steps. It's got the toolbox, gooseneck, bed rails, and she goes. Holy Lido! You finally make up your mind? That is probably the smoothest truck I've ever driven. You're at 2782, right? Yep. Three year warranty will add you an extra 60 bucks. <sighs> Could you do 2500 with the that, warranty? Sir. 
Well, this is a brand new truck. Think I can negotiate what Ford's telling me to sell it for? MSRP, that's just recommended sales price. A lot of dealers go lower. <laughs> Boy, Tw you ain't worked in business. 2600 Bobby. 2600 Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. 2650 and I won't tell people about your fake mustache. All right, you got a deal, boy, but that does not leave this parking lot. Deal. How'd you know my secret? I should shove you in one of those ranges. Get the papers out of the filing cabinet here. Do you want to buy yourself 1972 <laughs> F100? Are you sure you don't want any of this good stuff? I'll throw it in on top if you really keep the secret. The stuff in your backyard? Yeah, no. that good stuff. No. It'll relieve a lot of your stress. No, I'm good. I need you to sign here, 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 and here, and initial there, date there, and then guess what? You gotta sign another page on the back, same thing, here, 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 and here, and then you got one more page of initials there, and a date there, and a sign there, and then you gotta go and write down the time of the day right there, and then here's your warranty page. I need you to sign there, 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 dime, time, date, and everything else, because this is making sense, boy. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We'll get you a copy somehow. We'll have to get that thing down to the printing press downtown at the newspaper spot. I don't really have one down here. It's too expensive. Uh, probably could sell the business in the back, but that is, uh, that's our other big money maker. So can't do that. So we'll just go down to the post office, something like that. And we'll get you that sent in the mail. Okay. Perfect. Hey, I got cash in the truck, too. All righty, then. I can pay well, you right now. 400 cash for the difference, Bobby? There you all go. All right. Would you be mad if I told you I bought a new pickup truck and then I traded our other pickup truck for it? It only cost us 400 bucks. Like, you got 400 back? No, or you got I spent 400. 400. What on earth did you, you... We didn't even have the truck for like a week. I know, I know. There, the new dealership down there, they had a nice F100. Brand new. You traded... The, the guy was a good salesman, okay? You, you, you trade... Hang on, hang on a second. You traded our basically semi-truck with a flatbed yeah. for a small pickup. But the thing is, I was thinking we could get a semi-truck. Because we don't even use a flatbed watch. This has a gooseneck, so if we have a gooseneck trailer, we can haul a gooseneck with it, and then eventually we get a semi truck. I mean, Murphy Brothers, we're getting pretty big in, in cattle. We need to get a semi soon. Was it at least a D decent come, come, buy? Come, 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 come check it out. Oh my, that's pretty snazzy. Yeah. I see you went also intelligent. Yeah, with the V8. <laughs> You did good this time. Yeah, thanks. You got double extra exhaust. Let's start paying this sucker off by getting some work done, shall we? So I got to drop this plow. Then we got to hook up the uh, baler. The roads are getting ruined by the trike front. Seriously? Yeah, it's pushing the grass out and it's not even making anything. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to eat. It'll work. Oops. But I'm going to use this because at least the wide front won't ruin the, the rows. Hey, it's your tractor. That is overkill to the max. These wind rows are giant. I think we're missing some stuff here. I'm just trying to get the most of it. Kicking out bales like crazy. Well, Buck had to run. Something about his kid was sick and throwing up at home. I never thought I'd be using this 5020 for raking, but it sure does work pretty nice. I see what Buck's saying about having a wide front. It's all raked up. We're gonna jump in the baler, finish baling this. This is gonna be the last crop, probably for the season, I bet. This thing's starting to get oh, a little too full. Bales are starting to fall out. Some of them stay in there. Okay, that's a wrap. I'd like to be able to squeeze this through here. That way, at least we can get these bales under cover. Gosh darn, is it a chilly one today. We're actually ahead to buy a couple more steers. Oh yeah, we'll let her warm up. We're gonna run and get some coffee. Put her in four wheel drive. Uh, where is it? There we go, <laughs> gosh. Sometimes it's a little stiff getting in there. We got the trailer. I just forgot cash at my house. I said I'd pay Jeffrey later for the rental. Oh, and then we got to get cash for the uh, cash for the Sears too to go to the sale bar. Jeffrey said it was a 30 foot trailer. It's pretty darn new. Well, we still have a couple miles to go until we get to the Adina sale barn over there. Sounds like on the radio they had some pretty good, uh, pretty good prices for steers. Okay, we have a full load. We have 10 steers loaded up back there. They're young, so they were actually cheaper than 500 bucks. I think I bought 10 steers for 3,500 bucks. Come on, don't get stuck. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, fancy, get. Shut the gate, there we go. 30 total cows, uh, 20 that are close to breeding, and 10 that we just bought that aren't, so they're not worth as much right now. We need TMR bad, so I'm gonna mix up some TMR. We're gonna get mixing these, and we're, we're gonna get these guys some feed here. Come on, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna grab a couple bales out and we're gonna throw some in the mixer and then mainly the, the main ingredient for this is gonna be silage, all the chaff we have in there, but we also need to mix in some hay. Okay, we're pretty good on hay. We can always add more. So we're gonna make the TMR silage slash hay mix. 
We'll activate it. Okay, it's mixing. It's 12.15. I ate lunch, and then I had to take a little nap, too. Oh, we're drifting. We'll start filling with TMR. There we go. We'll start unloading. Fill the bunks. There we go. Okay. TMR is increasing. We're, heck, we're going to need a lot of TMR, it looks like. Now, we do have a little manure pile, and I wouldn't mind, since the ground's frozen, to try and get across the fields and spread the rest of this manure. So, since the 4020 is already warm, what I'll do is we'll hook this up to the manure spreader. We'll get the loader tractor fired up, too. Hopefully, that starts. We can load some manure. PTO's connected. Hydraulics. Pins in. We're good. I got the other 4020 fired up. If we're lucky, we'll fill this thing about half full. Are you sleeping by my tire? We get the gate open, turn the PTO on. Now, since I have the manure spreader hooked up, I gotta find a place to put it under cover. I don't want it sitting outside. I think I'm gonna have to just pull it in the cow shed for now. That'll work good. Welcome to the 1970s, guys. Not much has changed on the farm. Besides, we do have one new tractor purchase and that is why right now we have seven thousand six hundred twenty five dollars in the account it's because we made some money we sold some grain and now we have a tractor purchase we did also sell a john deere 4020 to get a different colored tractor it should be here soon planting season is coming i'd say we got 10 15 days yet it's still a little wet out in the fields so right now we're just focusing on chores now these are steers technically so steers technically it's technically a male cow so a male can't reproduce and have babies for farming simulator we do have angus steers and yes they reproduce cows so yes it is really weird oh there's the new tractor a 1976 international 1086 and i think he left her running our checking accounts basically wiped out after that one they did start coming out with a hydro model where they're hydro powered and stuff we didn't get that one. It was just too expensive. I think we might have might have committed a crime around here on this all green farm. Grandpa said never to get a red tractor. We did it. Well, we already broke that code when we bought the new Holland tedders and mowers, so I don't really know where you want to go from there. Plus, it's got the cab and everything else, so why not step it up a little bit? That way we don't have to freeze our butt off when we're feeding cattle in the winter. Yeah, I don't. You're stuck with the old stuff. <laughs> hey, we went 50-50 in this one. That means 50-50 right. butt time in the seat. Did you get the duels? Uh, they said those are going to ship here in about a week. They didn't have them when we went and picked it up. Okay. Well, hey, uh, hook her up to the wagon. We'll feed the cows. I got TMR mixed up in there. For the price compared to deer, seemed worth it. I heard some promising stuff out of them, so me and Buck decided, and we, uh, we ended up buying one. And we're just borrowing this gooseneck from uh, our neighbor. We'll drop the trailer for now, get the jacks down. Then we actually got to start tossing some bales in the mixer. And we got a lot. We got a lot of mixing to do. So I'm just going to pull the whole wagon over there and me Buck will get doing some manual labor. This is nice. I didn't even get to see the tractor. Buck, Buck bought it on spot without even uh, letting me see the tractor. I knew it was coming, but I didn't. Wow. This is a nice cab. Well, hold I'm just on. I'm starting to pitch him. Open the doors. Hold on. Come on, Buck. You're slow. Well, me and Buck are going to do a little plowing. We're going to put the new 1086 to the test here. He's already out with the 5020. And all we got is four bottom plows. So this this 1086, this should be able to handle it just fine here. Got the three-point connected. Just kicking that other three-point. There we go. Me and Buck are rolling here. Two four bottom plows. So we got basically one big eight bottom plow. She's taking a while, but this stuff needs to be uh, turned over here. Then she'll be ready, because we'll probably go corn on corn with this stuff here. Well, we got most of the plowing done. I probably have a couple more passes, something like that. And then uh, we're going to be done plowing. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but Jet's actually in a rest home. Sibai hasn't been used much, and we were thinking about trying to make him an offer for it, but he says he's going to get out of the rest home, and he says he's going to keep trucking. So I was down at the gas station where it was, and I picked up one of the papers. There's actually a six, there's a tiny little dish that we can get for about 4,200 bucks, so we can get rid of these. What do you think we could get for these? We'd be lucky to get 800. Mm. A piece. How big is it? Really. How big is the disc? About three times the width of that plow. Ooh. Probably four or five meters. Okay. I mean, I honestly think it'd be a pretty good... I mean, the discs need to get replaced on. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's a little dull. If we can get 800 bucks for these, I'd trade them. I have to throttle the clutch and brake at the same time. There we go. Oh, drop it, drop it. Hang on, go forward. forward. Go forward and drop it. 
Bob, you're dropping. Well, we got the disc hooked up, and also we stopped by the Firestone dealer, and our new duels arrived, and we put those on. Start cutting grass, and then uh, I'll run the disc, and my youngest, uh, Donald, he'll, uh, I'll, I'll put him in the tractor, and he can run, and then we can knock out hay. Well, let's see if these hydraulics actually work. Previous owner said they work. We'll try and fold them. There we go. We're turning dirt. She's rolling. I have to admit, disking is so much faster than plowing, even though plowing, it's doing a whole different thing, but wow. We're done with that. That was quick. But there are a ton of rocks out in this field. My gosh, plowing must have brought up all the rocks or something. You want me to start raking? We only Those got the- two monsters? Yeah, we only got duels on our tractors. That's what I was wondering. Well, oh, no, because the narrow fronts ruin it. Dang it. We need to get a shop so we can switch out those wheels pretty quick. I mean, we could, we could still do it in that barn, but it'd be nice to have a shop. This sounds horrible, but I guess I'll just put the 5020 on the rake. That's what I did last time. Okay. That's the only thing we can do because of the matter is I don't want the trike fronts ruining the rows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spring has arrived and temperatures are, heck, it's warm enough to plant now. So me and Buck are going to get started planting, but it is absolutely hectic on the farm right now. We have a new shed that's going up. Me and Buck kind of made the executive decision to tear down the old barn, the old hayloft. Somebody came and made us an offer for all the old wood because I think that barn was built. I think great, great grandpa built that barn. If you guys remember, it was right here. Buck would know better than me, but I think it was mid 1800s. And so that wood was really old and somebody offered us a pretty good price. By the time all the wood was taken off that, we got 30 grand for that. And I think we're going to get planting and stuff too. So that's why we have so much money right now. Heck, Buck, when did we get all this equipment? We got a lot. You're telling me. Sally can back up better than you. Come on. She's five. Yeah, I'd like to see her to try to back up one of these style trailers. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the next week and Buck's already up doing chores and stuff. He's getting the cattle fed. We also got a new machine shed. It's a 60 by 40. It did cost us, I think, $25,000 to build. So right now we have $25,000, but that's all going to go away as soon as we have to pay for seed to cover land costs. Also, Chet Elderson, he has this plot of ground that we're going to be renting this year. He still owns it. We're going to disc it up and uh, we're going to plant it. Hey, you need a hand? Uh, I'm just trying to get these things out of there because I tried running without that thrower in the back but then it's like we'll have to load them all up on the trailer by hand so why not just clear this trailer out go pick up the 15 bales that are currently on the ground right now and then just fill the wagon so we're not having to make 5,000 trips oh yeah well while buck's doing that we're gonna keep the mixer going here we do have enough hay we we are full on tmr and tmr is just feed for those of you guys who don't know buck's still tossing bales <laughs> that guy's gonna be one jacked Son of a gun soon. Right now, the cows are a little low on feed. They got 4,400 liters, and we're gonna toss another 7,000 liters in their mix. So they, they'll they be, I mean, they're they're healthy still. And these ones are worth 2,300 bucks already. I think we bought these for like 800 bucks a piece, something like that. There we go. Those are some big steers. They're getting fat. And then while we're at it, since we have so many bales here, heck, I need to help Buck stack these bales. I could probably push them in there, but. I'm gonna just toss a couple bales in the loader and we'll toss them back in the TMR mixer and keep mixing up feed for the cows. Okay, game plan here. I could get plant and we should, we should probably get seed in the ground, but also Chet's ground, it needs worked probably twice with the disc at least to mulch up all that, that cotton there. I'm thinking finish baling maybe with a 50-20 and then put the 50-20 on the disc and then start disking that field and I'll get planting uh, the field right behind, well, behind us. Well, which fields do we have that are ready to plant? Because if anything right now, what we need to do, what I think would be best is if we had the 1080, we'll take that one, start doing, obviously that one will be on the planter, hopefully at all time. Yeah. So if you want to do this little back field, get that done, then we could probably move to ripping this field with the discs. Yeah. So if, you're, if I'm not done yet bailing with this thing, then you could jump in and grab the disc, put it on that quick. Okay. So it's, it's not too hard of a process and then swap it back over and I'll join you with this and You can hook it back up to okay. the planter and I'll just rip with that. Okay. That sounds like a plan Remember we also got grandma's down the road about a mile. I know and we have those two fields in the back Okay, we plan. Really got let's get yet. the home stuff done Then we'll go to grandma's farm and then we'll, we'll get the stuff and the timber done Now one thing I got to do is I got to run down to the pioneer guy John at strong source ag Let me borrow his forklift here He's got the good 1197 corn seed. It's a new variety they're trying the, trying this year. 1197 AM. It's supposed to be a good one. The weather guy was saying it's gonna rain soon, so we gotta get we gotta bust our butt. And we gotta get some seed in the ground. We'll try and plant at five mile an hour. 
I do feel like one spoiled son of a gun plant with AC in here. This is nice. What's not nice is all these gosh dang rocks in my field. Holy oops. Okay, this is gonna be close on seed. We have 2% left on the planter. And we have this little patch. It's kind of hard to see actually, but we have this little patch. We should make it here. My gosh, there are so many rocks here. I need to pay the kids. They need to stop watching TV. They're always watching that Dukes of Hazard inside. They need to get out here and pick some rocks. We just barely made it. This planter goes through seed quick too. Those boxes don't hold much seed, but we gotta fill up and then uh, that field's planted. And we'll, heck, we'll head to the next field. Uh, I don't know if these cows are constipated or what, but I'd like to see some manure for, cause we need some fertilizer here. I don't think we've hooked the 5020 up to the disc yet even. This is gonna be interesting. No. Oh, 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 a little too far. How are you liking the 5020, Buck? Early smooth, I'm kind of booking it a little faster than I thought I'd be able to. Who taught you to stand on these things when they're operating? <laughs> Takes balance. <laughs> Buck, it's starting to rain. I can hear it. I got an umbrella. Great, <laughs> great, 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 great. Get yeah. the 4020. Get the back the bales into the shed. They're getting wet. Oh shoot! He didn't have the 4020 connected. Son of a gun! The bales are getting. Hold on here. I gotta pull them through somewhere. Where's the 4020 at, Buck? Fire up! Fire up! Oh, we gotta remove that baler. Come on! Come on! There we go. Keep backing her up. I think I was giving Buck a hard time for his backing skills earlier. Mine, mine are worse. Come on. Okay, there we go. She's in the shed. She's under the roof. I feel bad for Buck. He's out disking. Okay, there we go. Everything's under a roof. And wow, we should have built this shed a little bigger. It's a 40 by 60, and I thought this was going to be perfect for us, but it is. It's already getting tight in here. How's she coming along, Buck? I needed the shower anyway, but I think we're gonna be able to get this thing done. Well, good morning, guys. We gotta get chores done. So where do you want me to rip first? Do you want me to rip up here on our two fields to the east? Do you want me to head down to Grandma's West? Well, did you get uh chest section done? Yeah, that's where I just came from. Okay, if you get Grandma's field done, then we can come back and do 33, 34, I'd say. Okay. I'm okay. gonna get feeding the cattle and then, uh, you think the ground's ready to plant? I, think I would it assume is. so. It's, it should it's be. It's got to be loosened up after la yeah, last week's rain. Yeah, we should be good to go. So we do have 8,000 liters of TMR all mixed up. I actually got to clear out this TMR. It's it's pretty much full. So once I load up the TMR in this wagon, uh, the mixer can keep mixing up some TMR. And we'll be good to go here. Now, one thing I realized is that we need straw for the cows. So I'm planting, I'm planting some wheat on one of these fields. I got to figure out which. And I don't have a drill. We need a drill to plant wheat. You can't plant it with a regular corn planter. Start filling some TMR. And the cows are doing good. They're valued. Honestly, some of ours are getting fairly high valued. Some of our steers here. They're at 2300 bucks. We'll start feeding them here. Now, it does get a little tight pulling out this planter. I didn't... I probably should have thought about this more when we built this shed. There we go. Jump in the pickup and I got, ah, we should have enough seed left. I got a couple bags of beans in here. We're gonna plant beans in Chatsfield. Watch my planter gauge on the bottom right down there. I'm at 97% beans already and I went that far. Like this planter, we're gonna have to fill up a lot with this planter. Is that who I think it is? Yo, Chet! Hang on, hang on. Did you escape the rest home or what? <laughs> Do they know you? Uh, you might have bribed him a little bit. <sighs> Huh. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Hang on, yep. man. I got, I got one of my pocket yep. here. Oh, thank you, sir. They only let me have about two of these a day anymore. That's why yeah. I sneak about a six pack of them in my room every night. <laughs> <laughs> you want to run the planter at all? Put seed in the ground? It's probably been a while. It's been a minute, and it's definitely been a minute since I've run red. Let's see how this thing goes. Oh, that's fun. You know, I thought I thought you said it looked like you were going pretty slow with that thing. You got to throw it in fourth, boy. You're going fourth here? It's got here. ranges. You were in mid-range. You got to throw that sucker in high. I check in your house every once in a while. Everything's good. AC's running still. Turn the dang thing off. Don't no wonder my bills have been so dang high. Well, what? Your dog's in there still, Chet. Gotta, he got a dog door. Got to keep him alive. 
Okay, we'll see you, Jet. Visit you soon. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago. And pine for them old days of yore. We were so close to being done, we're empty. So, gotta fill up one more time here. I guess I gotta bolt the truck over. You get done? I'm gonna get off the road. Yeah, I'm heading toward the east fields. Well, I'm gonna get this done so that we do it, because I think if I was correct, at least from what I heard on the radio, they're saying that it's possible there might be a chance of rain this afternoon, so you might want to hurry it up. Shoot, if there's a chance of rain, I'm gonna keep going here. Try to knock this out. We got that field finished. I think that was the biggest field I've planted yet. That was a good probably 30, 35 acres. There he is! He's home! He's home! How's it going? Good. <laughs> it's been so long. I haven't seen you. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Oh my gosh. How was Vietnam? Well, it, it, it was numb. Hey, you got some money now, at least. Yeah, yeah. I, I Just before I left, I, I put some money into Coca-Cola. Oh, stock. And, uh, got stock, and it, it paid off big time. Glad to see you, brother. Are you looking to kind of keep investing in the farm and stuff? For sure, I want to get I want to get back into it. You know, I was looking to buy a tractor. I, I don't know if you guys wanted to do that or anything, but well, there's a new IH dealership down the road. Oh. Uh, just came in. They have a couple of used ones. We could head down there. I could show you it. How much money you got? Uh, well, I, you got I, by, I got, you got a pretty good amount. Okay, you got to buy some dirt too, man. You can't you can't you can't just buy equipment. You got to buy some dirt too. So that's, that's true. That's I think true. there's a couple pieces, maybe parcels, maybe coming up coming up too for sale here but hey uh okay uh do you want any food i got food i got beer i got you want no, smoke no i'm i'm good i'm good i had okay. a had a big kind of brunch there okay here let me uh jump in it's right down the road uh, new international dealership hey bobby you own the dealership bobby. down there hey, good how you doing hey who's this slick fry <laughs> he's uh he's my brother he just you just returned from nam actually you're back home welcome home everything you're gonna need here we got Perfectly built up IH tractors, all ready to go for you. What can I interest you in today? I was looking at this one, this 1586. Well, let me tell you a little something about that, all right? This is a 1978 International 1586 with front wheel assist, like you're saying. I think I heard you out before you do that. You can almost sleep in this cab, it's so big. Got AC, heat, radio, it's got everything you're gonna need. This is gonna be if your first tractor, this will be your first enchilada, my friend. This thing first is the enchilada. enchilada. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me tell you How many horses right you now. pushing, Bobby? Exactly. Oh, she right now, this 1586, she is pushing 182 Ooh. horsepower. Could be a tillage tractor for us. Uh, her oh, yeah. And definitely with that front wheel assist, you're going to be able to get into those tight spots a little bit, get out of those tight spots a little bit easier. Hey, Bobby, what do you got What do you got this 1206 with a loader price at? Let's think about maybe trading a tractor or something. I got a 4020, but my brother would kill me probably if I sold that. Well, isn't it that trike front? Yeah, it's a little unstable. You talk to him about that. You come back and you can swap that sucker out for this. I'll give you a good trade on that. What are we talking about? Are we thinking uh, adding cash to the deal or no? It's got, it, it, it's only got uh, 350 hours on it. Uh, well, it ain't going to be a straight trade up because I know that tractor is from the 60s. So I could get you a good deal, but you're still going to have to pay a little bit on top. Uh, Especially the fact this is a 1206. Yeah. I'll bring the 4020 in. Uh, have you inspect it? Make me an offer. I'd like to buy this if I get duels on it. And I could also get front weights if I want to take off the loader. 6200 bucks. 55. Nope. 55. 62. 55. 62. 55 in a case of beer. I'll do f I'll do six grand even in the case of beer, and you got yourself a deal. And I'll fill it up so you can take it home. All right. I'll shake on it. Woo! I'll tell you right now, by the way it looks, I mean, you don't, all your hydraulic connections look good back here. There's nothing wrong with the seals. PTO shaft looks really nice, because I highly doubt you didn't really use it as a PTO tractor. Your mm -hmm. links look good back here. Your tires are not bad. I don't need to put new shoes on it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Seat's a little torn, might need to look into yeah. that. You gonna, you gonna tell them the time the buck crashed into the shed or no? Oh. I see a couple paint scratches up here on the top of the hood, but it doesn't look like anything too bad. I'll give you 3,200 cash. And what are you asking for the 1206? 53, I believe. 5,300? You got yourself a deal. Woo! Yeah. I'll get this thing looked over. I'll have Manny. Uh, no, not Manny. Manny's down at the shop. Hmm. I need to get my clown cousin out here. Hey, buddy! Get your clown cousin! Go get some hammers and bang this stuff out, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is it with that guy. Oh, God. I'm gonna take his golf cart for a spin. Bobby, I got a $2,100 difference here. I'm gonna transfer it. 
All right. We have three red tractors, one green tractor on the farm right now. She looks good in the shed. I guess I could put her in the new shed too. We got nothing in it. It would be sweet. It's having a chrome pipe on this tractor. Well, I had my young boy Jared, he was watching Dukes of Hazzard, so I was like, get your butt in the planter and get planting, and he got this whole thing finished. Only thing is, he forgot to do the headlands. So, we're knocking out the headlands, the end passes, and then uh, Grandma's field here is gonna be done. It's all planned, it's rocky, but it's planted. We're always running out of seed. We're so close. I have this little patch to plant here, and I don't have any extra seed bags in the cab, so we're gonna have to run back to the farm and get some more seed. It's okay, though, because we got some... I think we got some beans we're going to put into, uh, chat owns a field over there, there, that we're going to put beans into. There's Austin, too. Looks like he's got the disc hooked up. How do you like the new new tractor? It's pretty good. Just, uh, switched the, uh, ripper out. And, uh, well, Buck came back to the yard there. Oh, he did? Okay, and, uh, okay you yeah. guys switched. Okay. Let me take over. So you're taking so. over, uh, you were disc in Chet's field, aren't you? Yeah, 71 over there. Okay, Plus okay. 71. Is somebody driving my new tractor? It's gotta be Buck. Oh god, mate. Hopefully he likes it. He's probably like, where'd the 4020 go to? Now he's driving a 1206. No, 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 no. Get back here. What's that? I can't hear you. Don't act like you didn't hear me. Where's my 4020? So we trade the 4020 uh, for the 1206 down there. Do you just do everything behind my back or something? Like it, The what's 4020 the was mine. The 5020 was yours. Very true, but still, why on earth do you just I... go and... Get rid of our farm equipment, dude. Well, for the price, it was a farm bowl. These IHs have been pretty good for me. 1086 has been a heck of a tractor. If with... you sell that 5020 behind my back, I so help me to the Lord, I will send you to Jesus. Uh, I'm going to just cut down the grass that's over here just so we can at least have that hay down. I know we don't okay. really need anything at the moment, but it's good to at least keep that stuff in a cycle. How's this looking? It's good. You missed the spot. And... Uh... Just kick a little dirt on it. Honestly, I was talking to Buck, and I think we're, actually we're gonna plant wheat here. So, heck, I'm done here. I'm gonna go back. We got a couple, a couple patches uh, south you of the farm. We need a drill for that, though. I know, I know. We're gonna try and buy a drill here. I get, we're gonna buy another piece of equipment yeah, already. Yeah, we need straw for the cows. Well, guys, I'm gonna keep getting this planted. Well, good morning, or I guess good afternoon. Close to noon. Good early noon, guys. And right now we got I got my buddy running planter. We're finishing up a field next to grandma's farm for soybeans. And since it's soybeans, I was like, just yeah, go ahead and finish it. So he's running, he's finishing that. So me and Buck are working on getting this uh, grass bailed up. We're not sure if we're gonna flip it and ted it, turn it to hay, or if we're gonna keep it to grass. Got a little more soybeans we gotta put in the ground. I'm trying to get all these things unloaded since we still haven't gotten that from last time's rain. Where'd you go? There you are. I don't want to stack all those, but we're probably gonna have to at some point. Well, you know what? We could start getting that TMR mixer going too. True. You could probably take a few of these over there. I'll just tote this thing over yeah, there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll in. toss them in from there. Bring it around over. We don't have any hay in here, so we can keep filling this up with hay. I'd say we could toss like five or six more bales in here, and then this will be full of hay. Oh. <laughs> Are you playing trick style back there? <laughs> All right, we might want to also start looking into doing some maintenance on that combine. Yeah, we'll do it once August hits. Do it last second. That sounds like a horrible idea. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I can fit them that good. I'll try. Oh, <laughs> one for you one. You want to bet? One for one. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best okay. idea we've ever had. Yeah. Oh, oh! Well, it rained, and now me and Buck, we're gonna, we pulled the bale wagon out, we're gonna toss the rest of the bales here. There you go. Buck's gonna push these bales up. We're gonna get the baler hooked up, and we're gonna go bale the rest. We got those two small patches to plant. Do you wanna, do you wanna knock out those? I can head out there. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. I'll take your truck with me so I can get the seed out of the back. Well, we're gonna rake everything quick. And then hook up to the baler, get things bailed. Buck's going out to plant. Our corn's coming out pretty good too. Man, I always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. She's all raked. Now we just gotta hook up, hook back up to the baler. That's one heck of a view. Well, most everything's done. Well, I think for now, we'll just leave it connected. This is just kind of a giant weed mess right now. So we're really gonna have to put some good pre-merge down after we get all the seed in the ground. And we're done planting, officially. 
for the 75 season. We're trying to get chores done today quick because we're going to make a trade on a tractor. We're going to head into the John Deere dealership. It is May right now, so we have to do a ton of spraying. We bought a little chemical stuff and we're going to try it this year. We're still going to row crop cultivate. We're going to get some TMR filled in the wagon. We are not going to get feeding the cows because we are full on TMR, but I wanted to get it out of the mixer because the mixer needs room. What'd you do? Oh, Austin ended up having to sell his truck or something. He, I don't know. I he, I ended up buying the thing and I sold it and I went and got me one. So this truck will be worth a lot more than his. His out on the inline six. That deer salesman he was calling about the trading we're going to do. The one that I'm not so excited about because that was my tractor. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we could sell. We don't have to do the trading. It's up to you. We don't use a 1586 much. I say we trade it. Let's load her up. We just had the tractor for a year and now we're taking it back to him. No, we're trading it. Different dealer. No, it's not going to Bobby B. Uh, well, Bobby works around quite a few places. It's a possibility he's at there too. Well, me and Buck did something to you deer guys. We did get a deer piece of equipment, but it's probably not what you guys were expecting. We got a pretty darn good deal on trading. And so it kind of made sense to go this route. We got a 706. It was for sale and it had this front row cultivator on it. We got some money with it, so we now have more cash, a little bit more cash in our bank account, which worked out great because we weren't using that other tractor. So me and Buck are heading back. We're gonna get row crop cult cultivating some corn here, maybe some beans that were set on 30 inch rows. But yeah, it's a Farmall 706. It's a little bit used and it has a front row cultivator on it. It'd be nice to have more tractors that are row crop. That'd be nice for hay and too, because we were just getting too big of tractors. And then we did buy an 825 cultivator from John Deere salesman. Um, he did sell us this thing. They're brand new. They're just starting to come out. Let's go knock out grandma's then. Let's go row crop. Uh, grandma's looked the worse. So what this is gonna do is it should, it's gonna fold out and then this is gonna go, the shanks are gonna go right down the, co the corn row and rip out all the weeds. This is gonna be nice to get this cultivated here. We'll have to come back in a couple weeks probably. I think Buck's gonna get the stuff on the headlands over there and we're gonna keep going here. You can see the difference. We're really what, knocking those out too. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. Buck's finishing up one last row there. This tractor with a front mount style worked fantastic. I didn't get to run Buck's rear mount style, but the front is nice because you, you're, you know, you're sitting in the seat and you can look down and make sure you're not hitting rows. You can watch all the weeds. You, you're never looking back and you're like, oh shoot, I'm off a row. And then you got to like yank the wheel sideways. <laughs> nice. It's a tight squeeze. Well, it's July one now. Grass is ready to harvest. Look at the cows fed yet. Hey Buck, can you yeah. throw a couple bales in the mixer? Uh, that's what I'll just go do with these. I think Buck's gonna toss some more bales to the cows here and we need more TMR here. I got a full load in the wagon. We'll dump the wagon out. And then we'll also throw them some bales here. We'll dump this TMR out. And I currently got nine bales in the back of the truck. Do you want any of those in the cattle barn? Go ahead and put a couple in there. I think it would be good. Full load of TMR coming through, Buck. Eat up, boys. Eat up. Whoa. It's Alice Chalmers 608. It's for sale for 50 bucks. It's got a 54 inch deck. I was looking for a lawnmower for the farm. This might not be a bad buy. Well, we ended up getting it bought. I just gotta figure out how to get this thing to my truck though. That's the only thing. We got about like three miles down the road is the farm. We got the front up. If I can just lift the back up, get it in here, we should be good. There we go, pull it ahead a bit. Oh, Mr. Fancy driving the Charger. We got a new lawnmower, Buck. You finally I picked got a this lawnmower. 50 bucks up down the street. Now, most of the extra grass around like the farm and stuff we try to use for hay. There's some stuff around the house that's just, it's too tight and it's tough to get bailed up and run the mower around it. So that's why having just a little small lawnmower is super nice for us. I can't get this pin out. Come on, you gosh dang pin. Got it. Buck, why did you get a topper? Oh. Because it's enclosed carrying. There we go. Oh. Right there. Yep. Don't mow down my bushes. Hello. <laughs> oh, don't flip her. I think you need to fix it. You need to fix that tur turf right there. Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind. Trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list. Girl, you can skip this funny business. 
we picked up something and we spent a lot of my personal savings account on this toy what's so called what on earth did you go and buy now i don't have any money buck it all came out of my savings account it is all gone the kids is college fund everything all for this truck a 19 Good thing i finally got my account separated from you a 1971 f-250 high boy come and swapped it has 10,000 miles on the pickup eight-year-old truck Sounds to me like Uncle Bobby probably screwed you over. It was expensive, not gonna lie. We are not gonna drive this truck. It is not gonna be used for farm use. It is only gonna be used on the street and for going to get ice cream or something. Oh boy. You bought a pickup truck. Don't be tipping that, please. You bought a pickup truck to do nothing a pickup truck does. I can't hear you over this. Cummins. Oh, you're gonna be rubbing your fender over here. Watch your bumper. You're getting close. There you go. Well, now you might curb rash it if you fall off the side. Could drop off here in just a second. Give her the beans so you're not scraping the rim. There you go. You bought a pickup truck to not do anything a pickup truck does. Well, we can drive around people still. I can haul your big butt on the back of there. Well, I can't even fit in the bed. My left <laughs> side takes up the fender well. True, true. Buck, but, this but, thing, but, hear me out. It's 1978. If I just hold this in this shed, okay, it only has 10,000 miles. 30 years later, 2010's decade, it's worth 100 grand. If we're laying in the nursing home and you got a million dollar paycheck off of some car auction, then I will laugh, then you can laugh and die in your chair while I'm over there croaking, trying to... There's no way this truck's going to gain that much value with that, that amount of time. Yep, yep. 30 years from now, I'm going to sell this to some 16-year-old kid that has daddy's money. And he's going to pay a hundred grand for it, Buck. It is going to stay in that shed only on weekends. It will be taken out. And we'll only put 30 miles a weekend on her. At max. I'm kind of surprised you went and bought a manual. I think she's going to be a good investment. Okay, we can maybe use it for some miscellaneous farm stuff, like pulling the hay rack, but we gotta take care of her. I'm gonna park her. Alrighty then. So this is actually a mod that Anselmo made. So shout out to Anselmo for making this. I'm gonna get the baler hooked up and we got about five acres of hay to bale up here. It's been sitting, it's been ted, it's been raked. Uh, and this is ready to go. I just need Buck. He's gonna run the rack for me back here. Or I'll run the rack and he'll drive the tractor. We got the 706 hooked up to that tether back there. We'll use the 1206 for this. Get the PTO and hitch disconnected. We're gonna drop the loader off this. She's a little dirty. We'll clean her up a little bit. Honestly, I'd say we're about probably a month out from harvest. We're not far and we could probably be chopping silage soon for the cattle. Get the pin in there. I need my right hand man buck um he's down at his house mowing right now we're gonna take the new pickup down there you want to run the tractor I'll, I'll run the rack good make some bales quick it's supposed to rain tomorrow i think kathy said you so. hurt your what it's supposed to rain tomorrow kathy said no, before that i said i'd run the rack oh you're <laughs> this guy just takes up the whole road on his mower I'll give it to you. You've gotten a lot better doing the tedding on these things. I'll catch it if it goes overboard. Oh! I got it. I got it. I got I it. Cable the wrong just way. Just go. Just go. I'll catch. I gotta. I gotta readjust. I missed a spot. This cable's a pain in the butt. We gotta label which way is left and right. Oh! Oh, oh buck! Oh. Buck! You're gonna get hit in the face of them now. Oh God! <laughs> Keep her steady. Dude, your truck's gonna tip. <laughs> it's good. It's totally good, man. Hey, boys and girls, it's Jimmy back at 97.3 The Eagle. Coming in hot today, we got CPI prints for last month. Coming in at close to 6% inflation. Both corn and beans are up today. Oil's up, everything's up. Right now, it's uh, September 1, and I gotta get... Either I gotta rent the neighbor's chopper again... So, and we gotta get this child silage chopped or I heck I gotta go buy one. We're running out of chaff in here We're running out of feed and uh, it's go time to get this chopped We got still a decent amount of chaff, but we got TMR. We got to feed too I want to almost sell this corn as grain because for the amount of price I can get for corn right now with with commodity markets the way they are Selling it for grain would be better, but heck we gotta get we gotta have feed for the cows, too I guess it's a good problem to have we'll fire up the 706 We're gonna hook on that wagon we're gonna load it with feed. 
Hitch pin's attached. Tires are holding air. We'll get filled with TMR. Come on, boys and girls. Eat up. That is empty, but I also have some TMR in this front wagon that we can unload too. Gosh, got myself into a death trap. We gotta back this wagon out of here. There we go, finally got her. Then we'll back up, connect to this one, and uh, unload this, and then these guys should be good on feed for a while. Keep unloading that. We've got a pretty good manure set pile going here, so I'm thinking that once we chop that silage, we could start loading up some of this manure here. Meanwhile, we do have to toss in a couple well, I should probably get the pickup over here, but we got to toss in a couple bales in here to mix up some more TMR. That way, this it takes a while to mix this stuff up. It really does. So, if we can keep this going as much as possible right now, we got uh, we got a little bit of hay in there, but we still got a good amount of chaff too. Heck, it was raining and raining, and we left it. We had to let this hay sit out here pretty much to dry out. And we finally got it dried out good enough to where we can bale this out. But you can see, it's coming back. We got so much rain. This grass is coming back so fast here. You guys just watching? Not gonna help? Well, we got most everything bailed up. There's a couple bales I need to, well, let's toss them in now. But uh, we got most everything bailed up and I think that baler is probably gonna be done for the season unless we can get a hay crop out in October, which we, we might be able to since we have moisture. Look at all them bales. Holy Toledo. We need more steers to feed out. We got way too many bales almost. And heck, I'm gonna give these guys a straw bale also. I think we might need the loader on to get one of those straw bales. So we're gonna put the loader on. Well, Buck had the loader tractor down at his place, so we had to run down and grab it. We got the 1206 back. Now this should work. We should be able to grab some of these bales. At least one of these bales. I don't know if I need both. There we go. We got one bale. Let's see if we can get this in here. Those straw bales cost us a lot of money, and I gotta figure out how to get straw in here. I think Buck did it last time, and I have no idea how these where where the load point is here. I think it's time we're gonna start cutting silage. I'm gonna get the 1086 off the planter here. We've got the chopper box behind us. We're kind of taking up the whole roadway. Better get off the side a little bit. But I'm hoping over the next couple of days we can get all of our chopping done. We can get it all in the silo. We can keep that going. There we go. We can do a solid five mile an hour and she's not dying down even. This is a lot better than the 5020. That's pretty insane. We're filling up quick. We got some pretty nice stocks. We got a lot of material coming in here and I think I just ran over a hay bale. Everything seems to be going good, but heck, we're gonna make it uh, all the way around the field. And I think we're gonna be half full already. We're gonna have a lot more chaff this year than we did last year even. On the same amount of acres, I think it's because me and Buck plowed all this and stuff. It just made some dang good corn. Okay, we are full. I gotta detach this wagon. Let's see, I gotta figure this out. We gotta get it up the silos. We'll probably put the 706 blower and then we'll have the 1206 moving this wagon around. It'd be nice if we had a second wagon. That way I could have Buck running these, unloading these while I'm out chopping. That'd be nice. Okay, we'll get the 1206 out. Shoot, we'll just put this on the blower. Right there, should be good. We're gonna start unloading. Yep, she's going. Be careful around these PTOs. Whew. Dangerous things. Well, we got that unloaded, everything's set up. I'm gonna shut the blower off, set the, set, set, shut, the, 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 shut the tractor off. We should be good to go. So I'm thinking tomorrow, once Buck gets back from vacation, I don't know why he's over in, who, take, who takes a vacation over in Nebraska? But anyways, once he's back tomorrow, I'm thinking we can really get started on this. If I can keep going, now that I knocked out all the headlands, if I can keep going back and forth, he can switch out me wagons, he can unload them, run the blower, and unrun, unload the wagons, and then I keep chopping. Well, good morning, guys. We're getting going on silage here. Buck's already, yeah, he's out in the field still. But I think Buck's gonna be running the 1086 all day. So chaff is going in the silo, and then we're making feed. All right, what do you want? It probably feels pretty nice having some red power on there. You got some real horse now. I still like my 5020 doing the job. 5020, man, she doesn't put out enough ponies. Nah. I'm still. It, it's just tradition, man. We've, been, we've always been a green farm. True. Here. True, true. But we're rolling a little faster now. Olva. Uh, yeah. How full are you? Uh, by the looks of it here, that doesn't look like there's much past that heap, so probably maybe 30-ish, 25, I don't know, somewhere around there. Okay, you should be able to do another lap around the headland. Dump it kind of right here by the bin site. I'll hook onto it and keep unloading it. We should be able to roll like that. You get the other forage wagon? This is the other forage wagon. I've been waiting on you to pick up the other one. Oh, I'll run and pick it up quick. <laughs> yeah, I just use my truck. My truck's got that pin hitch in it right now. 
It's got a topper though. I don't know, man. Keep it under 120, right? RPM? <laughs> well, we're gonna see if this. Come on. You ever? Well, I thought Buck meant the uh, forge wagon was still at the neighbor's. He actually went and got it here. Could have just used a tractor, but we'll move the tractor out of the way here. We'll put it right there. And if we can scooch around here, try and get this international around here. We'll unload the chaff. With the amount of chaff we're going to have, though, we could, and especially the amount of hay, like, we are going to have feed for days. So, what we could do, maybe, if we have the capital, is expand our herd even more here. We'll drop the empty one on the edge of the field here. He's still rolling. I thought he'd be full by now. That should be some good yield and corn through there. Oh, he just gave me the bird. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, Buck. Come eat, boys. Well, oh, Buck's got a full load for me, it looks like. He switched out the wagons. We're going to empty this one. Heck, he actually did that pretty quick. I thought he was going to need my help backing up. There we go. PTO's in. Pull up here. Get her lined up. There we go. Heck, you know what we could do is we could start running on some tillage here. Get some manure. Yeah, we could get some manure spread. I didn't even think about that. Well, I don't have another tractor right now. I'll probably get the 50-20 out, and we, maybe we'll put that on the manure spreader. Oh no, it's Box Beauty. Come on. Keep her in the, between the line. At least I got this umbrella over my head. That went oops, slain all over me. Won't well, land on me at least. Well, we'll park her right there. Now I need to get I need to get my loader tractor off here, but we got a little more silage. Box just finishing up, and that is a wrap. We are done with silage for uh, season 78. Hey Buck, you wanna hook onto that wagon and then start taking it back to the neighbors? I mean, I can, but let me just take off this chopper. Well, we gotta take the chopper back too, though. Chopper, oh sorry, chopper isn't ours. Yeah, we're gonna head on down to the road to the neighbors and drop off this and we should be returned. I bet you we'll see Buck coming. Yep, there he is. Give him the bird before he can give me the bird. I parked so you could load on the other side. Yeah, well I'm, oops. I can move too. No, I got it. Looks like some good P and K right there. Oh, this is gonna be a fun time. Well, we're gonna start by making a pass right down the middle. I'd rather try and get this stuff in the middle of the field here. We'll work it in on the sides or we'll put extra P and K or nitrogen in the sides if we need to. There we go, we're going. Well, we got all this spread. We didn't get much. Like we had a lot of manure there and it just spreads quick. I don't know what it is about this, but we got not even two passes done. We're kind of in a pooey situation. We ran out of poo. I thought we were going to get more, too. We didn't even get much. <laughs> Need to feed these cows some more laxatives or something. Well, we're going to get disking this stuff up. You would think you'd need duels on this tractor, but it's actually pulling it. We're not slipping too bad, even with this disc behind me here. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well, that is all dissed up over there. It's all ready for spring. We have to do the old taste test. I think they're ready to go. Well, we're gonna try combine these beans here. This is uh, Chet Ellerson's field over here. It looks like they're gonna make some good beans, but hey, seems like you never know once you jump in that combine. They look big bushy and full and everything like that some of these steers are full size they're getting shipped out here right now we have 20 head of angus that are worth about three grand they're pretty much full weight and then we got some some young ones yeah that we need to put on weight but these ones we're gonna have a pretty good i mean 20 times three thousand dollars that's gonna be 60 grand that's gonna be a big payday for us here so we'll probably just reinvest that money into some young young steers and then we'll just uh we'll keep feeding them out here and taking our profit come on Come on. There we go. Well, we got four different options for tractors to run on the wagons. It would be, they're talking those new grain carts. Uh, gosh, this guy started a company, uh, John Kinzenball. John Kinzenball, yeah. He has one of these these carts that you go in the field and you pull up next to the combine and it loads. And then the cart, it has an auger. And then we and then Buck could be running back and forth with uh, John Kinzenball's new I think they call it a, a grain cart, a grain cart. And you pull up with the grain cart and the auger unloads unloads right here. That would be slick. What, what do you want to run for tractors? Do you want to run the 706 on the wagons or? I mean, or you come on, run, man. 
Hey, we you could it's it's your choice. I'm all you, my big boy. Okay, well we'll she put means too much. We'll put one on each. I'm gonna run this over to the shop. I didn't even grease this thing. We gotta toss some grease in it. Uh, make sure all the sickles are good. They should be good. Fingers are looking good. Belt tension is good. Everything's looking good. I just hope the beans are gonna go. Oh, bucks are on the cultivator. Knock out those weeds there. Hopefully they don't get too big before winter. Engage the separator. There we go. Engage the header. There we go. We're cutting. It is dusty. It is dry out too. Well, we gotta make sure no beans are coming out the back. Too many. We'll check the ground here. I'm not seeing too many beans. I'm seeing maybe one pod per square foot or something. Or one bean per square foot. We have it set pretty good, actually. Well, we're getting full. I can't really tell the yield. It seems decent. Six mile an hour, Buck! I'll keep it there! There you go! Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore You wanna run the car? Yeah, yeah, if you want to get going on that little bit of weedage over there, you probably could. And if anything, you probably could start tillage if you really wanted to. Yeah, I might start that then. We'll see, though. Oh, and uh, here's the check from Elevator. Yep. 8600 bucks is what we got for that. Half a load? Yeah. Nice. Well, we were a little over half. I think they said moisture was... We were just a hair over 13. We were, I think they said 15, 14 and a half-ish, somewhere around there. I bad. think that probably is just from the dew that we had in the past couple mornings. Okay. I'm gonna get rolling. Okay. This is yeah. a little close. It's a little close, man. Hopper is empty. Perfect. Is something caught up in there? Did it? You pick up a rock? I think you slug, I don't a, know. You slug a rock through there. I think it got all the way back into the separator. Well, whatever it was, it well, tore up the feeder out. It tore up this housing. I see fire up, see if it'll shoot out the back. You're going to be the one uh, that does that because I'm not going to have it explode on me. I'll do it. I'm going to fire up the separator. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm standing behind it's the It's not going to do anything, you little. Here we go. Go, oh, shut her off. Ooh. Holy Toledo. Just call the insurance guy. Well, I got off the phone with insurance. Um, it's afternoon now. Deer's gonna come pick that up. Insurance is good to me. They're like, Grant, we got a rental. Um, we're gonna cover the rental cost for you for this fall here. And see with uh, with Buck. So that's super nice to have at Murphy uh, Murphy Bros Farm in here to have a good insurance company. And there she is. The rental. It's a brand new combine. It's a 78 model John Deere 7700. They even, the insurance company was even so nice to pay for a eight row cornhead rental because we originally had a four, we had a four row cornhead and they're like, well, it's not gonna work on a 7700. So they give us an eight row cornhead. That is nice. We're not gonna get stuck this year, Buck. I wonder what our rates are gonna be now. Well, should we throw the old bean head on to finish beans and then or can just throw have to. Yeah. If you want to drop it here, we'll finish beans quick. Got to change out the combine, but it sh maybe it's set for beans. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out. Now, don't run a rock through this one, Buck. There we That's go. It. We're full. I'll run her down to the elevator. We'll see you. Right. There we go. We're unloading. 13.2 for moisture, so we'll take a little dock probably, but that's okay. She's empty, $9,146. Well, I just got back from the realtor's office and I've been meaning to tell you guys this. We're packing up, we're selling everything, we're packing up and moving, and we have till November 1st to get our stuff off this farm. It's been sold. 
it's gonna be sad to see this place go i mean we've uh past 50 years our family's been built up on this place but it just kind of made sense so we're moving to another state in the midwest the rock actually took out the whole feeder house and so they had to replace the whole feeder house and they got this thing fixed i didn't think it was going to be fixed so we're going to run two combines today and we're going to try and knock out almost everything so that we can get loaded up everything cleaned up and out of here crazy times right now crazy times good times but crazy times fuck hurry up we gotta we gotta get harvesting for God's sake, dude, if I can't mow my yard for one time we in two weeks, that's your fault. We I've been trying to get this place like a nice. Well, you got it sold already. It doesn't have to no, look I nice. Don't. Yeah, I'm going to make sure the next person has it looking nice. You going to leave the lawnmower for him or what? No, I'm taking this with me, but I'm making sure this yard looks clean. Okay. Okay, well, I'm... I've been trying to mow this yard for the past two weeks, okay. and I can't well, seem to get, get one blade cut. Get mowing fast. You got ten minutes. I'm going to get everything ready, and then we're going to get harvesting. Yeah, you do that. I'm going to finish this yard. I did forget. I called down to George over at his implement store, and we actually rented another wagon. So we're going to... I'm going to go pick up this. We'll pull it behind the pickup. It's another Kill Bros wagon in the back there. These things just work good. There's also some uh, Brent wagons we've been thinking about buying, but these Kill Bros... Uh, they're made dang good. And we got the 5020 on two wagons, and we got the 706 on one wagon. Tell you what, when we built this shed, I never thought we were going to have any issue with equipment. But it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I mean, at this point, there, you, you can't go bigger than this, almost. Like, that, it's just not going to fit down the roadways. We'll get the head hooked up, plus having an eight-row head. Ooh, we are going to knock out this corn quick. On the grandmas we go. She's got uh, oh, 67 acres over there. We can knock out, and then we got some corn back home, and then we got some beans over by Grandma's also. Oh, I missed some back there. I've never had corn up to the cabin here. This is some pretty tall stuff. Well, me and Buck got the end rows cleared, and this corn is yielding good. We've never had it this good. Well, I guess I have an eight row head on too, so it's filling up a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna. We are pretty much full. I would assume Buck's probably pretty darn close to full too. We're gonna load this and we got a lot of, these tires are like squat. We got a lot of weight on them. Get that unloading. Hop in the wagon, make sure it's all good there. We're on a boat, we're feeling fine. Drinking Tennessee whiskey, a big blue sky. We're going up, we're coming down. There's a party on the water, it's a hell of a time. We're on a boat, we're killing time. Buck's gonna, oh my gosh, he just, that kid. He's destroying that little combine, man. We're gonna rock through it, then it's a wagon. Well, that was some good yielding stuff. Not too bad. We're gonna try and fit all the grain in this. We got a little more room in the back of Buck's back wagon, and then we got some room yet in mine. And I'd say we could maybe fit all the grain in. It's gonna be close. We may be a little, we may have to overload one of the wagons a little much, but we'll see. Well, we got all the equipment moved, and me and Buck are gonna keep combine. Well, we're full. Gosh, it's gonna be close. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get all this grain in here. We'll see here. We'll unload this stuff, and then I think Buck's gonna finish all of it up. Probably by the time we're on, we're done unloading, he'll be uh, he'll be ready to roll. Looks like he's already packing up. Yeah, he's getting everything packed up. He's getting his trailer and his car loaded up, and we're about full. Well, all of our wagons are full. I'm gonna go dump this one quick. By the time Buck gets back here and finish with this field. We should be ready to top off this, and we're gonna need all the space we got here. We're gonna have a lot of cash after this year's harvest. We have the cattle yet too. We gotta decide if we're gonna sell those. Well, we got 8K for that load, so we're at $38,000 now. We still have two more wagons, and we gotta fill this wagon yet. So, we're gonna have some good money. Buck's all loaded down, and he is overloaded probably for those axles. I'm gonna pull underneath here, and we're gonna unload the uh, kill bros. And we should be good. We got a couple full loads here. And that 5020 is just lugging up there. Well, Buck's getting all the grain and load out the elevator. It's taking a while. Their their dryer's shutting off and on and stuff. Their pit's a little messed up. But we're going to get that money and we're going to pack up. We're going to transfer and we're going to head to a different state. The family farm is officially over in Iowa. Oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting. I miss She's married. Mr. Kane. Welcome to the 1980s, guys. We made it. 
Well, we didn't make it to our destination. We're, we're probably about 30 minutes out from our destination, but uh, we made it to the 1980s decade. And me and Buck right now are going crazy on Coca-Cola, Pepsi. We've just, I've got five open bottles in my truck right now. We're just trying to stay alive. It's been a long drive here, but we're doing good. Buck, you on the CB, Big Four? Get the Big Ten Four there. Slow down for the Slowed. corner. I mean, I knew Wisconsin was hilly, but I didn't think it was this hilly. My gosh. If I'm going off my estimates, we should be in Westby in probably 15, 20 minutes. Claire, you had the map upside down, Water, didn't you? Water, Wyoming. Oh, we took I-80 West. We were supposed to go east. I had the map upside down. Instead of going 10 hours east, I had the map upside down. We went 10 hours west. There's deer in the street. That's cool. Ain't that cool? Look, there, there's deer in Wyoming. Pretty cool. Wow. Maybe we can get a cabin and stay the night and drink some hot cocoa or something. Just when I thought you couldn't be any dumber, you do it something like this. Okay, okay. I've had it. You have the map. You control the route now. Yeah, thank you. We made it to Wisconsin. This is what we're talking about. Does that place look familiar to you, right? I swear. A little I bit. Something about that place looks real familiar, but we bought a we bought a farm. An acreage came up for sale. Some land came up around it, and we bought a farm. Um, so it's some hilly ground. It's all contoured, so it's going to be a whole different type of farming than I've ever done. But there's some good ground out in Wisconsin here, and that's what we're chasing. We're chasing the golden ground, the the 150 bushel corn ground. And there's our farm. It's it's nothing crazy big, but I'll give you guys a tour of it. We're going to add on to it. And we're going to improve because the house is outdated. The only thing is this fence. We may have to pull this fence because if we're coming through with wide equipment, gosh, I don't know if it's going to work. There's Buck pulling around with the equipment. It's got two new bins. These are two-year-old bins, suka bins. They both have dryers on them. These are going to work good. We may put, we may expand out here too, which is nice because we can expand the whole farm out here. And those hold, I think, close to 20,000 bushel each. Maybe 10, 15,000 bushel, the realtor said. Something like that. The house, it's old. Um, it needs remodeled bad. It's kind of a mess. We're either going to tear down this house and build a new one or we'll remodel this house. If we tear it down, I'm thinking we may put it out here. We may put our new house out here, make a driveway right here. I'm not sure. We'll see with that. It's got a 60 by 120 machine shed, two years old again. Like a lot of these buildings are really nice. I think this was built in 83. Here's the dealio though. I get to keep the 4020. Not the 4020, I get to keep the 5020. At your place? Yeah. We gotta meet the neighbors too. Yeah. So we got this 60 by 120. And then we have a open, this is gonna work good too for shed space for hay or something like that too. Um, I don't know the dim dimensions on this. I think it's a 40. I think it's, or I think it might be a 30 by 60 or 30 by 70, something like that. We've got a commodity shed too. Perfect. We kind of have this. We have a fully operational dairy barn too. And this is going to be perfect because uh, we'll expand into the dairy industry. They have open pasture out here, a lot of open pasture. And then we have open pasture for a cow calf herd way down on the other side of this hill. There's 240 acres total here. And we still have money to buy some more acres way over there too. Now we may. Depending on it, we may also put up a feedlot somewhere out here. I was thinking along the roadway somewhere out here where it's flat. That way we can get a feedlot. Then we can have our dairy operation going. It work perfect. I don't know though. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see on that one. We got to go check out that uh, John Deere dealer. There's a, a store manager position open at that one too. I was thinking I maybe you could. I don't know if can... I want to take on that big of a job. I might look into more of at least possibly a shop guy. Well, shop guy right now might work into sales, depending mm -hmm. on whether or not it works out. That way I can at least have a side job. Extra income. Here. Yeah, and I could possibly get an employee discount. Oh, yeah. There's a 160, 160 acres for sale, just south of here, along the border fence, coming for auction soon. 160 acres right here. Look at this. Beautiful dirt. We are gonna have to start upgrading some equipment too, just because we're we got a lot more acres than we previously ran. I actually picked up a job at the deer dealer. I got it. What do you guys got in and stock they, there? Uh, that's what I gotta go do. Is I gotta go rearrange the lot. I'm technically one of the salesmen, but I have to do some paperwork, and then they kind of gotta get me in some training. So I'm probably not gonna be the guy that'll sell you it, but I also don't know when my employee discount kicks in. So we're gonna build this uh, farm out just a little bigger here. He just lives on down the road a couple miles. Well, a tour of the new place. We got it cleaned up pretty good. I wanted white rock out front down the lane. 
just to keep everything real nice and clean and then once we get back here with the animals we can keep it messy and dirty and stuff like that i did switch around some bins we got some brock bins in here so that way we can load and unload better has an unloading vertical unloading auger which will work good they just came out with these and then we got a house here they're starting to come out with those things called tvs i thought it'd be cool to put one up there but i don't know we'll see i have a wood burning stove that stove is going to be nice to heat the house we don't have heat yet this is going to be the only source of heat which is it's going to work perfect and then we got a view in the bathroom of the whole farm we're going to take chet semi on down and we're actually going to head down to the deer dealer and i'm looking for a big four-wheel drive we've got a lot more acres than we did last year and if we could pick up a four-wheel drive or maybe uh, just a mid-sized tractor too that'd be perfect i have a feeling the 5020, I'm not going to see that often because it's over at Buck's house. Who's this guy I think he is? He gets hired here one day and he acts like he runs the place? Huh, 4955. These must have just came out. Uh, from my understanding, pushing right over about 220-ish horsepower, 228, somewhere around there. Wow. Yeah, these are both 8760s. Uh, these two are more or less the big flotation tires. While we have one or if not both, if I can't remember, row crop on the other side, which are the bigger of the two. But this bad boy right here, if you opt for duels, like, well, she already has duels. Uh, this one also comes with a PTO and an extended fuel tank. Yeah, we got that listed currently at 142,000. 142,000? Okay. What's the yeah. 80? What about the 87? That's going to be a little bit cheaper at about 136. 136. And got, even with the PTO option, what's. Uh... Well, that would be this one more or less because it doesn't have the duels. This one's right in the middle. Boy, looky here, looky here. We got that painted dropping, planter popping, pimp mobile tractor right here. <laughs> You're going to try and sell me a 49.55 too. Kind of my job. Oh, man. How else do you think I get paid? You currently owe me 138,000, 138.5 for the 80, uh, 8760. And you'll owe me 45 for by what your option lists up here for the 47. 55. So that should be on order. We'll send that in the mail tomorrow morning. Easy. I can't see anything past the front of that nose. There you go. Keep coming. Appreciate you doing business with you, brother. I'll see you back at oh, the farm. Yeah. Howdy. Hey, what's going on over there? Not much. You live around here? Well, yeah, we're just looking at uh, picking up a farm right now. What, what did you guys just, did you just buy that from the shop? That thing looks brand spanking new almost. It's a 1989 8760. Just came out. Four wheel drive. Now it isn't the biggest. They make an 8960 which is a little more horsepower, but this is all we need. You know what they say, red trucks, green equipment on the farm. Looks like you got the red truck down. Yeah, yeah, the old F-250. Well, maybe I, you know, I'm having a bit of an issue. Let's not talk about that, but what? it's okay. Come on, I got an old Ford too. I got an old Ford, a 72. What is this, yeah, a, is well, this an 86? 80, 86, yeah, I'm, uh, well, I'm having a little new. bit of an issue here. Uh, she won't go into gear on me. I thought I'd see if I could pull over and figure out what's wrong well, you with got it. got a warranty on the it. Corner and just kind of coasted up here. Should have a warranty on it, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. There's we got, got 120,000 miles already on Holy this thing, so I don't God. I don't even know anymore. But what, what? Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna the war, the warranty's not gonna last that long. Let's be honest. Gotcha. Is, is it the diesel or gas or? This is diesel. Yep. Diesel. Huh. They say those things are supposed to be nice and stuff. You said your brother Buck's place is just around here someplace. Yeah, I could. Well, heck, do you need a ride over there? You know what? I might. I, maybe he can give me a hand get this thing off the road so I can at least get it out of there. If someone's close by, at least then. I got a, uh, well, I got a gooseneck down at the farm. I can bring your truck back if you need to. Well, I'm going to keep hitting the road then. I'm going to drop this off. I'll come back then and I'll help you guys All right, out. Sounds good. What is well, this? thanks for all the help. You should have right. seen this guy when he was little. We call him Little Puffy Bucky. Yes, I am that evil person that backs their cars in their garage. Also, the uh, the 4755 should be in. That you know old thing you're talking about for Kinsey? Yeah. Well, Brent's got a competition. Come Ooh. right back at it. It's a 410 bushel cart. It'll get your A to B. You just need something to put it in at the edge of the field, because unless you have a very good aim with the auger, you got to find something to dump it into the... Yeah. Thing with, so you'd probably still want to get some gravity wagons, which we got Killsboro on the other side. How many SCVs does it require? It should be two. PTO doesn't require much horsepower on it, and it's relatively cheap model. This combo right here, I will sell you gladly for ten grand. That sounds fair. We'll do that. I think we gotta upgrade to that seventy-seven hundred. What 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 model year is this? Eighty? Is it seventy-eight? So there are a couple years. 
I think we're gonna like this tractor, so I'm thinking we'll put this on the planner, 12 row planner, and then it'll probably be mainly just used for field work and stuff. Silage, we can use it for silage on the chopper. I got one of these fields back here that are ready for oats. Did you love tap my fence over there? No, I was looking back and I came forward and I thought I was about to hit and I slammed on the brakes. <laughs> well, how are we going to do this? You want me to move the tractors or? No, I'll pull forward and then I'm going to back up and you should be able to just basically ride it, got up right next to it. Okay, so this 7700, this is basically the exact same combine we had back over in Iowa. I'm hoping we can keep oats in storage and then if we have to, we can sell them as a commodity. Sell them to the elevator or feed mill. If not, and we need them for cattle, or for if we decide to get horses, we'll have oats here on the farm. So, this should work out pretty good. And then what's nice is we should be able to bail up all this straw coming out the back too. That'll be perfect. These oats aren't yielding too good. I'm not that full even. Well, we gotta get going to deer. I gotta shut the door quick. We were combining oats last night, finishing up. And there's we still got a ton of oats, but we blew a belt in the combine. So I gotta run to deer. Grab a belt for this, we can get this back up and running. Oh, and we could probably use a lawnmower of some sort. Look at here, look at here. We got this penny dropping, planter popping, pimp mobile tractor right here. This thing is all you're gonna need. We have this thing currently listed right now at a, <laughs> at a whopping five grand even. Does it come with a hat? I mean, I can make it come with a hat. I'll take it. Well, thanks for the attachments. So right now you guys have probably seen our money in the upper right hand corner. It's a lot of money. It's way too much money. And we have to kind of add money to get equipment in here and get it bought. But I got to figure out, okay, we had 30, 40 cows in the other 70s on the other map. So then I got to transfer the cows over and there's still a lot of stuff I got to buy to even it out from the 70s because we haven't officially moved everything over. So right now in the money account, you're gonna see a ton of money. Eventually, once we get the stuff bought that we had in the 70s, we'll clear everything out and kind of start over. Right now, we gotta get harvesting soybeans. If you look on the paper map here, we had oats and they spoiled. It rained and rained and rained and I can't get these oats here on this farm that we bought. So there's a couple fields that we own that aren't that weren't planted because the owner was gonna sell this farm. And then there's a couple of farms that are planted right now 42 has soybeans. It's ready to harvest. So we're going to get these beans out. I have no marketing plan for these beans, meaning I have not pre-sold any of these beans. So we're just going to put them in the bin for now and figure out what where we're going to sell them later. I sure would like to get a couple loads in the bin at least today. We're going to find out what these are going to yield. And then we got to head down to the dealership. I have a Westfield auger pre-ordered through Buck and he said it was there. The only bad thing about this fence is I can't fit my bean header through this fence it gets caught at the end so i gotta cut through the wheat field here or i gotta cut through the hay field here which we actually need to harvest this field here's the beans they're looking tall but with beans you just never know like these could be the best looking beans ever and they could yield 20 bushel to the acre and it is dusty through here too Ooh, great. wisconsin's a bit different than iowa it's pretty hilly but gosh dang it's beautiful out here being able to see across the whole field well, we got one of the neighbors going on the beans down there. You know, you just toss them in that combine, tell them where the PTO is, yank it forward and go. And just look straight, look at something in the distance. So he's running the combine there. Quick, I gotta run down, grab the Westfield auger quick, but I don't want that. Oh gosh, he should be able to turn around good in that combine, but gosh, that's an expensive combine. We're gonna run and grab that auger quick because we need, we need to get that auger going. We got the auger unhooked right here. We're gonna get in the 1206. That way we can maneuver this auger around a little better. Cause we gotta get, I have a little load of oats in there that we should probably just sell in that wagon, but I don't have another wagon. I'd rather just keep them in the wagon. God, gosh, darn. Let me call in and see what oats are doing, but maybe, gosh, it's, it's a waste of storage. Cause that's all we have for oats. We might as well just, I'll, I'm gonna call into Chad and see, uh, see what, Prices are going at the elevator for oats quick. Well, shoot, the market's up for oats. We gotta sell those oats quick. We're gonna run out the 4760 to Jimmy. That way he can unload in the in the auger wagon at least. I think they call them auger wagons. Some guys like to call them grain carts too. Well, we got about a half wagon load of oats we'll take down to the mill quick. Well, luck would have it. Those guys aren't taking oats right now. They're shut down for the day. 
And so I talked I talked to him into taking my oats because I was like, I got no storage space. I don't want to fill a bin with just a little bit of oats. So I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. I might have to swing on by local John Deere again and try and buy another wagon so that we can get beans moving at least. And I keep these oats in the wagon, just keep them in the shed. Picked up another wagon here. They had a used one. It had wood side extensions that some guy put on it, but it looks in great shape. They're selling at a reasonable price. Buck wasn't here though. They said he was out for delivery. Oh, and here comes Buck. It looks like they're in the convoy here. What the? What do they got going on? We what kind of son bike. of a gun contraption is this? You... We I broke the my tire broke. I'm a brand new kill bro. Holy till I just bought one. The salesman said these things were indestructible. I just bought two brand new ones and look at that. Does it have a warranty? It should. Yeah. We'll get you fixed up. What the heck uh, happened? It just um, snapped. He turned the corner and I heard a loud, a lard, a lard. I heard a lard pop. You didn't even have any weight in it and it snapped? Nope. Yep. Did you turn it too far? I did. No, it's a, it's a 90 degree turn. That makes me feel good about my new purchase. <laughs> well, I hope yours doesn't break. I gotta get rolling, boys. If you need help, I got tools, everything at the shop, just a mile down the road. I can come back if you need help, too. We can get it dragged All over right. there. Well, luckily we made it back, and we still, we even have half a tank of grain in there. Jimmy had to run, so we're taking over the combine. And it looks like somebody's coming on down the road there. Must be Jake. <laughs> he got his wagon fixed already, too. That's good. We'll top off the cart and then we're gonna go run and dump it and make sure that auger's working pro properly set up, get the bin sweeps going, uh, make sure everything's working on the bin. We should be good to go. We got close to a full load on the grain cart. So I'm thinking what's gonna be nice is we'll be able to pull through here and then take a left hand turn, swing around the bins and unload into that wagon. And we fire up the 1206, get that running. It should work out good. Could you help a guy get this auger unloaded? I'm having trouble yeah. here. Gosh dang! Oops. Hey Buck, I'm gonna open the, I'm gonna open the top of the silo. I'm gonna climb up there. Be ready. Drops in. I got throttle up. I know she's filling. Should be good. Yeah, she's spreading evenly. Things should be unbuckled. Just need to click up to it. Yep. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Back her up. Oh, there we go. Nice. We have about 20 acres of soybeans left to harvest we got to get to corn quick too and then after that i'm trying to buy or dairy cows and get dairy cows out here and potentially beef cows the thing is is we i want to get enough grain storage in our beans so that we're set and we honestly need to be getting our hay operation going too buck's busy running the dealership he's usually head of our hay operation here at the family farm but he's just been crazy busy at the dealer i did switch my auger position around a little bit so that way the auger is going on this side of the bin and i think that'll work out a lot better we'll keep cutting some beans here they're yielding pretty good they're a little wet and we put them in the dryer a tad bit but the yield isn't uh yields pretty solid on them man i always had stories about the city lines and the crazy nights I figure i should probably give it a try baby check it out see what it's all about well soybeans are complete we didn't even get a full grain tank out of it either so I'm probably just gonna run the combine back and we'll just dump this into the wagon and unload it from there. We don't even have to put it in the grain cart. The yield was good up here, but some of the stuff kind of back there, the stuff I was fishing on, the yield wasn't the best. Some of this hay ground up here, as much as I love having all this grass and stuff, and I know you're supposed to keep terraces and keep rotation on these hillsides to reduce erosion, it'd be nice to just turn this into a field though. I would rather just uh, put it in crops. So what we'll do is get this hay off of here. We'll bale it up, get it, and then uh, we'll rip it this fall. We're gonna put it into crop ground. But everything else along the strips, that can stay into hay ground. We'll dump into there, leave that running. I'm gonna fire up the 1206. You can see it's going into the auger and then the auger's just aut automatically dumping in there. Well, it was raining, it was snowing, it was doing all sorts of stuff outside, but I think it's finally clear to actually go pick some corn. Corn isn't as picky as beans. Beans seem to be all, you gotta have perfect weather condition, but just got done raining. So we need to move the auger around, put it on this bin, cause we got beans in this bin. We're all done with beans. 
Put in this bin for corn. You took the family van? Uh, no, I actually have those uh, parts that you needed from the dealer. I got your chopping knife as well as your hydraulic line that you had ordered. Yep, yeah, I'll take those. I, I got everything fixed. I had some spare I found in the back of the shed, though. So, I'll take either them, Either way, though. now you got the line. Yeah, so either way, there's your stuff. Okay. They shouldn't need the van for the rest of the They shouldn't need the Suburban for the rest of the day, so I think we should be good to go. We got, uh, if you want to hop in the green cart, it's down at the bean farm down there. Actually, I'll just give you a ride. Just hop in my truck, and I'll give you a ride out over to the green cart. It's been leaking a little oil. I don't know. It should be fine. Leaking though. a little oil. I know. It's got 20 hours. It's all a little oil. I can't find where it's coming from, but let me check the oil to make sure it's good on here. Let me pull out the dipstick. Well, snorting oil like that, you're gonna be the dipstick. It's it's good. I think it's good still. Go ahead, Maybe, fire up. Did you, I say, did you taste it? Yeah, it's good. All gauges and needles look fine. I don't really see anything wrong with that. I mean, besides letting it warm up for a minute. Gets a little tight through here. We probably should have built the bins a little wider, but it works pretty good. Okay, right there should be good. Well, the corn wasn't ready. Me and Buck tested some the other day, and it wasn't ready to go, and so we had to actually wait a couple days. Then it rained. And I told them, get your butt over here, because uh, we're going today. Both of them should be warm. I'm going to get picking. Hey. We almost got a full load. The yield isn't as good as I expected it to be. There we go. Stay with me. Be safe oh. with her. She's only got 300 hours on her. Be safe. You leave the machine running and then run <laughs> around the corn header. We got some pretty big hills, and we got corn on the other side that we got to get. He says, I got, I got cattle pasture down through there, so we can't cut through there. Well, we're going to get her dumped here. I had to kind of mess with this to kind of get it lined up right because it wasn't centered right, but we got it now. Oh, I just finished, so you're lucky. I don't have to yell at you. Oh, they kind of got to go forward. <laughs> now, so you put it in drive. We have to get started on fall tillage, and then also, we're going to be starting kind of the dairy operation, getting it going here. We should probably have feed, but we don't have feed ready yet. And I'm going to try and get a ripper for this to rip some of our ground. They say these chemicals are going to do stuff, but gosh darn it, it just, those chemicals just aren't doing... Oops. Hey, you just fine morning, bud. Hey, good, good. I think I remember you. Didn't my pops you still hold out of business with you? <laughs> yeah, like father, like son, right, Barry? You know it, boy. Uh, Chet would have done that twice as fast, though. Boy, are you sure this is right? It looks like it's the other gate that you put everything in. No, no, this is it. This is it. I'm going to straighten the dang thing back out. How much do I owe you, Barry? Coors Light and a pack of uh, spack of smokes. Barry, I got three packs of Coors. Ice cold. Oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you, good sir. Your hospitality has been out of this world. You look I'm exactly like Chet. Well, I'm kind of his son. I'd think I would. I know, but there is... I mean, you just throw some gray hair on you and... Gosh dang. We'll see you, Barry. Drive safe, man. So we got 25 Holsteins here. And we got to get feed ready for them. If we go in here... We need silage, hay, and grain. We have the grain. We can get hay pretty easily. And we can actually get a last, last cut off of here. The only thing is we need silage. And I don't have chaff right now. So we're gonna have to figure out something for our silage situation. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a load and a half. Could you load me up with the 11 shake? <laughs> it's gonna have to deliver that thing. No, no, I'm, I'm here. That's all I Susan, okay. Susan Calden said it was in, so. Um, okay. This is not recommended. Yeah, that's a little 48 loader too. Gosh, hopefully she doesn't crack. Never oh, mind. Oh, she's hurting. Okay. She okay. is hurting. Keep going. <laughs> Oh, she's keep slipping. Yep, she's keep slipping. Going. Keep going. Slipping. Right there. We don't have a three-point, the link arms. They're supposed to come with the tractor, but the, the, the three-point's there. I just don't have the three-point linkage. We're going to have to call Susan or something at Deer or Buck, if I can get a hold of Buck, see if they have those parts in stock for the link arms. Welcome to Holland and Sons Equipment. For service, press 1. For parts, press 2. For sales, please press 3. For package deals that you obviously forgot to buy, but know you need to have it stalled, please press four. They put the most annoying music on here. We got a set of them for that tractor specifically. We actually just had one taken off for a clientele. That's what I think Buck was running out north by your place to go drop off, so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Word. I think he's got a radio in the truck. Okay. We'll get him out there, and if you want him to come pick it up, probably can. Hey, I'll, I'll come pick it up right now, put my name on it, so nobody takes it. I'm coming right now, though, Jim. We're going to take a shortcut. Have a nice day. Be sure to visit Holland and Sons again. Thanks, Susan. Okay, we got paid with Susan. Got her her money up front. There's Buck rolling her. Holy, oh! There is just so much stuff going on. If Buck could get out here and get some of this grass mowed down, we could get some hay in there. 
for the cows because he's kind of the manager of the hay operation on more row crop. Buck had to take the 87 back to the shop at Deer because there's a couple bolts that were just completely rusted on and we couldn't get them playing with it so he just took it back and they were gonna put the linkage arms on there. We're gonna try and lift this thing off with the 47. There we go. This is gonna get ripped up into row crop and we have so much grass and hay we gotta get off this fall that for now it's probably fine. We're gonna try her. We're gonna try the 47. We'll start her off in first gear and if this pulls it I will be shocked. The only way it will is if we have really light ground here. We'll put her in first gear. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's going to pull it. Oh, hey, we're breaking through. There comes Buck with it. Okay, yeah. We'll gear up. Yeah, we're just spinning. I mean, we're pulling it somewhat. Okay, we got her in second range, second gear. Let's yeah. see what she can do. Give her. So we'll kind of get this ripped up up here. We just don't need that much grass ground. So we'll put this back into crops. Crop prices are pretty good. It makes sense. We're going to take today off from work. We're going to have a little fun at a little car meetup. Prices have been pretty good too. Commodities, especially last year's grain the year before. I mean, commodity prices are, are, are pretty good and stuff. And well, we made it. We made a little purchase. A 1969 Ford Mustang GT. She's about 10 years old. Man, she runs like she's brand new. It's a Boss 429, so she's got a lot of horsepower under her interior everything's perfect wasn't even smoked in some of my neighbors they get rvs when they get older and stuff like that we we just buy we just buy super nice cars i gotta beat buck to cars and coffee too open her up a little bit we gotta get her a little warm Woo third gear okay we're not gonna hit fourth yet oh i had her down i really want to race red mustang but then this yellow one came up i was like Wow. We actually have a hydraulic suspension underneath here too. We can lower it down if we need to. We can raise it up. I like running it with it lowered. You steal mom's sunglasses? Did you hear about what Clutch uh, ended up finding in the newspaper? Uh-uh. I guess he's got something he's coming out here with too. Gosh dang, dang Clutch. Hey, you win the award for the nicest looking car. I literally just got this. It just showed up today at the farm and uh, I've been waiting on this. I've been watching it. Finally put an offer in and uh, they just dr drug it over to my place today. Finally got my hands on it. I, I really haven't run it at all today. I'm hoping uh, maybe I'll... I might, might, might pull some tires off it this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Tire. what me and Buck are playing. Watch the scrape down here. Don't want to scrape the car. Oh, thanks for telling me that when I drive a land yacht. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is kind of... Oops. I have a yellow traffic cone in my way. You boys ready? Anybody want to put some money on it? Buck? No, because I know what that car has, and I am not going to risk that today. One, two, three, go. Buck's got the lead. Here we go. <laughs> uh He's got it. Oh, look at him go. I think Buck took it. Who won? Uh, apparently I did. He's going to take the car back and go look under the hood. There's something that's not right. Oh, we're in reverse. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Now remember to put it back in yeah, first. Yeah, she's good. She's good. You ready? Here we go. Come on. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Yeah! Come on! Fourth gear! That was a close race! Yeah, it was. It was a lot closer than I thought it'd be, but... I mean, you have a weight on your side, so... Yeah. That kind of says a lot. Well, I, once I... I mean, first through second, you smoked me. Third gear, that, this thing just took off. We got Keen. He's a local farmer around here. When I drop... You guys go, and I'm going to try and get out of the way, and I'm going to run left because I know the car on the right is going to just play boogie towards me. Aren't you supposed to be wearing a bikini? I mean, do you want me to? <laughs> Take some of it off. <laughs> Hang on now. Never Hang on. Hang on. We're just joking. All right, so we got the boxer briefs on. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Let me see what it does, baby. Here we go. He shaved his legs. Three, two, oh shoot, I dropped too soon. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, you sucked me out. Well, no, <laughs> oh Jesus. Holy Toledo. <laughs> okay, we got the three fastest cars. The 302 Mustang, the Pontiac Trans Am, and the 69 Charger. Driven by rental man Buck. All We're three of those were somehow messed up. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> three, two, 
One. Go. And they're off. Oh, we got a slow start. Here we come. Here they come. Close the lead. Fuck. Keep me. <laughs> Mike, what do I owe? Uh, so right now you go about two hundred thousand dollars on your operating costs. Uh, we got a very big problem though with that. We've been looking at your finances. We've been trying to get our crunch the numbers, see how we can make this possible. Problem is, even if we were split it up into a ten-year plan, your interest strikes are gonna shoot through the roof. You're not gonna be able to pay for much of this stuff. But give me one more year. I, Just I'm one sorry, more year. We can't. Even if we can divide that up, there you're not gonna pull enough money. You're looking at at least almost 20 grand that you're gonna need to get this year. And with prices keep going down and the market's just crashing, you're, there's no way that you're gonna break even. Not the whole farm. I'm sorry, bud. We started this in the 50s, Mike. I'm sorry, I know we've been good buddies, but I can't, my hands are tied, I can't do anything. This is the money of the bank that you're talking with, not me. We'll see what I can do, Mike. We'll see what I can do. I don't know how we're gonna make it through this right now. Corn's at $1.50, we are not profitable by any means. We're barely even profitable to put seed in the ground. Like, we are almost at the point where I just, I don't even plant anything because the loss is so great, even though we have so much fixed cost with land. The banker, I, uh, you guys probably heard the phone call, but uh, they're going to call the loan on everything. The operating loan, the land loan, that's variable. That's at 15% interest right now. Interest is just getting racked up like crazy. I just can't do it. I've been having a little bit of troubles myself. Finance wise, I'm not doing as bad because I got stuff going with uh, Holland and Sons right now. Yeah. But... Uh, they're talking about possibly sending me down to Mendota to one of the other locations or somewhere around Illinois because as for right now that spot is fine but they have to start letting a few people go since it's, it's, the finances just aren't that much as much there right now. Buck, I think I got to sell the farm. I, I, I don't even have a choice. See, this I is think why they're going to take the farm. To, this is why I told you not to buy that sports car. I sold the sports car already. This is why dad never trusted you with the money. The equipment I, I bought from you, it's probably worth 30, 40 grand less right now. I don't know how the heck, I mean, I I could pitch in, but the problem is, is I'm almost in the don't, same boat you don't, are. Don't, don't, don't. It's just going to ruin you for the long term. Don't probably. even try it. I mean, I could I don't probably know. at least help, at least keep you somewhere if you needed a place to stay. Yeah. I, that's about all I can really offer you right now. I, I think the best chance is just to get out of this on top. If we can get out of this on top with equity, take home equity. I say I can get the 40-20 on my place sold, but the rest of the stuff I'm able to hold on to. Yeah. Because I own it all. I paid everything else off. I don't know. How much of this stuff have you paid off? Most of the land we have equity in. The land has a lot of equity in it, which I'm going to... I want to keep the land, but all this equipment's all borrowed. The land has some equity in there. They're still going to call it off, and I, I don't want to leverage land like crazy. How much did Mike say you owed him? 200 grand on operating, which we can get. We can get. We can get if we start selling some stuff off. One way or another, it's either you get the stuff and you walk out on the high ground, or they come in and do it for you. How much could I get for the 8760? I'd say it right about now. I couldn't tell you, but it's something is 30%. better than nothing. Yeah. Okay, we'll sell the 8760. Uh, we'll sell the 4755. We'll sell I want to sell the, your, v, your V Ripper. Yeah, we'll too. sell the V Ripper. We'll sell the Combine. We'll sell the 1086. Sell all the cows. Just have them gone. Kill bros. Both wagons. Grain cart. We can't get rid of Chet's truck. You cannot get rid of Chet's truck. That was a gift. We'll keep Chet's truck. Keep the trailer. Farm's going. Gonna... I gotta sell the grain out of the bins. Cattle. I'm keeping my pickup truck. Keeping the trailer. I'm just lucky enough that I actually got that truck. I got a new one. That paid off. We'll keep the 1206. <sighs> I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. I think we can get out of this pickle somewhat. But if the land prices keep going down here, our land and equity in that land is going to keep dropping too. I mean, our net worth is going to keep dropping. I don't know. I just can't afford to keep farming right like this. We're going to have to pick up another job of some sort. I think what I'll do is start custom trucking. That seems like the most obvious since we have Chet Semi still. We could custom truck, make some income. Gosh, I don't know. So what exactly do you want to load up first? Well, if you take the 89 or the 87, um, and then I can take a load of stuff too. Um, right. 80, maybe we'll put all the deer on one trailer, on the, all the international on the other. We'll see. I said the 87 is going to fit on this one the best because I got those wide ramps. Okay. I'm just going to leave the three point on it. I don't even care if we get a ticket. Can't even afford it, anyways. Oh, I think we probably put 10 hours on this tractor, if that. Bucky, can you scooch those ramps closer? Yep. Thanks. Keep coming. There you go. Back it up. Stop. Right there? Uh, maybe a little more forward. Stop. 
So you just had to get it over the top of the axle. Like over the top of the wheel. Okay, I'll load up the 1086. Well, let's load up the combine first. Here I was. Thinking everything was going to work out good and we could expand our operation. It was the exact opposite. Yeah, that should work. Pull her forward and then drop her down. Should be able to drop her down here. Keep going. Oh. Say back it up a little bit. You're back. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. If you want to get that strap down, I'm going to try and get this thing out of your driveway. I'm not sure if that ripper is going to be too wide for your entrance. I'll follow you to the dealership. Buck, promise me you're going to be able to sell these. Get some money out of these. Yeah, we could probably get them sold. How are equipment sales? That's what I'm wondering. So far, they're not doing half bad. We actually have Seriously. quite a bit of stuff. So, so far, I so, mean, I think you're in luck. We do a lot of transports in between other dealers and whatnot. I think we're going to be able to get this 8760 sold down in Kansas on a wheat farm or either up in Montana for chickpeas. There's uses definitely for a lot of this stuff. The problem is we're just going to have to kind of figure out and fine tune how we're going to get this stuff in, get this stuff out of here. Yeah. Well, let's get her unloaded. One last ride. I think I'm actually going to bring this one in the shop so we can kind of get it on an inspection because there is a guy that's waiting down in, I, I believe, Kansas. He's looking, looking to buy one of these. Okay. See if we can get little Bob on it. Well, hopefully some of this equipment sells good. Should, if you got a couple buyers lined up. We'll let them get take yeah. care of that. Well, Buck, I'm gonna... I guess this is uh, goodbyes. I'm not oh, sure I'll where life it. takes us, I but said, I'll wish try you and the keep best. in touch on some stuff. Uh, I guess if anything, send me a letter. Where yeah. the heck you kind of end up? I mean, do you have an idea? Are you gonna try and, I mean, I'm gonna try and pick up a truck and drop. Drama's? Not, not the end for now. It's not really a so long, more of a see you later. See you we'll be later. back at it at some point. The Murphy Bros aren't gone yet. Sometime we'll get back together. Sometime. Hopefully. But. Well, I'll see you, bud. Yeah. Take care. Don't die. Please. The last thing we need. We'll be good. <laughs> we'll be safe, Buck. Right. Uh, okay. We'll see you later. Thanks, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure where this adventure takes us. But we gotta find a job and see what we can do in the future. The 80s, we just couldn't handle it.